Are we live? Are we live? Fantastic. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Um, probably don't need that. Where were we? I think we would just... What was this block going to be? We got Material Science 3 done, and I think we're just waiting on resources now. But since there's so many steps involved, I want to keep double-checking uh, that everything's actually working. We're waiting on radiation and shielding data. Uh, radiation and shielding are not flowing at the moment, and I believe it's just because we don't have material testing packs, or rather, we do, but we just can't get them here fast enough. Um... How fast would these two sciences alone consume material testing packs at full speed? Uh, 115.2 per second. Considering they have a stack size of 10. Um, we need 11.52 stacks every second. Which is... Uh, let's see. If a train load is 160 stacks... Uh, so it's more than a tenth. How do I do the math? Is it something like seven and eight, seven, seven or eight seconds? Um, divided by one sixty. That's not it. Eleven point five two stacks per second. Um, one sixty divided by that. Yeah, 0.14. So it takes, uh, what am I, why would that be zero? That's not zero. Oh, I think there's some rounding or something in this. Okay, so 11.52, um, 160 over that is 13.89 actually. Um, it's fast, anyway. Where are we going next? Uh, I believe we should have... Uh, Via Terra is all sorted out, right? We've got Holmanite core fragments flowing very quickly, but we need more spaceships to keep up with it. Or it might be more to the point well, it might be that as well, but also um, we're not able to refuel the ships fast enough, uh, even if we do have the liquid rocket fuel, to keep up with that. I suppose now that I think about it, it probably doesn't help that much having another um, drop-off in the same rail block with the same liquid fuel supply for this very thirsty uh, liquid fuel resource, or rather, not the resource so much as the logistics for the resource. I'm going to get rid of... Actually, I need to delete... I need to delete these chests. Well, okay, no, as soon as the ship leaves, this all sort itself out. But I need to temporarily delete this stuff to get the bots to get this stuff out of the chest. Here they come. We're going to need a few more than that. How many robot uh, construction bots do we have here? 180. So not enough if we're doing something like this. Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think what I should have done instead 
is just turn these into purple chests. And once they're empty, we'll um, change them back. Uh, I'm also going to... Excuse me. I'm also going to set this to the default uh, clamp number. So next time one of these ships won't land here. And if we are going to have multiple drop-offs like this, um, I think I'll do another one over here. So that we have another place for the trains to fill up tanks of liquid rocket fuel. Maybe I should make another block like this. I don't know, we're not having trouble producing liquid rocket fuel fast enough. Um, but we seem to be struggling with getting it there. Maybe we need more... Uh, this, thing, this thing needs power. Oh, wasn't I sending the construction spiders over to fix that? Apparently not. They're in the, uh... They were in the mall. I'll make sure they get there first. Um... I love that waving... Hey, raid waving. Very nice. Very friendly looking. What are we doing? So I think I want to make another one of these blocks over here. Um, we may actually need more liquid rocket fuel. Sorry, liquid... Uh, so we need more fluid wagons. Possibly. I think I should add a depot here. Uh, for fluid wagons. Let's go. Hey, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we want to go to Nalvis, actually. And something I should have done a long time ago. Um, well, I was going to say I could design a fluid wagon depot that fits in the rail blocks. But we can have way more density if we just, um, if we just don't have the automatic removal stuff. And even if we need it, we can manually send them back here. Can't complain, work is quiet, so might as well settle in for the stream. Nice. Quiet work is good work. Um, unless you're forced to stand at attention and look vaguely busy the whole time, then it's actually kind of, uh, kind of a different flavor of hell. Um, what is this? Oh, it is sand. I thought it was, I thought we had some, uh, no, that's not sand. That's, yeah, I thought this was a different color. The iridium powder on this belt, I was concerned for a second it was going to the wrong place. We're fine. Alright, let's land. Um, probably here is a good place. Actually, that's where I left the RoboPort last time. Been there, done that for many years. Thankfully, no more standing around looking busy, just as long as I do my work. When it's there, all is well. Fantastic, very nice. Um, okay, so I want to design... Well, I've only got a hundred rails, so we're going to have to use our imagination a little bit at first. What I would really like to do, but I don't know if it's possible, is have a fluid depot where we could drop off any fluid into a certain set of tanks. 
and then have it available for pickup. Can we make a depot that is also a pickup? Can Oh, 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 oh. Ideas are happening. Okay, so normally we put something like provide threshold or stop is depot on a constant combinator, right? But what if we made it so that if it's completely empty, this stop is a depot. If it is not completely empty, it is a pickup station with a very high priority and a provide threshold of one. I, sh I feel like I should have thought of this before. I like where this is going, though. Now, construction spiders have almost reached the oh-so-important pylon substation. I really probably should make a construction spider or two that's just there to be, a, a like, a second squad. Maybe, uh, like, even if it could literally just be one or two of them, it would mean we don't have to send our construction spiders up here to do this. Maybe I should have manually just stolen one of these guys for that. Okay, so... 100 rail is about enough to at least paint out the idea I have. Uh, let's swap out our construction stuff. And what I want to have is right in the middle. Let me extend this a little bit. Or at least as close to the middle as we can get. I think with the uh, six length trains we're Gonna have to not have the the trains being able to come in or leave by any direction. Um, I mean, we can allow that on the signals, but it's not gonna. They're not gonna do it. They're gonna have to come from, say, the south to enter and leave by the north, which is gonna be fine if we're building this depot here, especially since we want them picking up that liquid rocket fuel as quickly as possible. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. This is, I believe, as close to the middle as we're going to get. Um, I could lay out some ghosts just to illustrate it. Okay, so this is going to be our first dynamic station. And I'm surprised it's taken me this long to get around to trying it. I have briefly thought about it before, but I haven't actually thought of a use case. Uh, so we're going to need pumps going both in and out. Uh, we need the ones that go in. Let's see. Well, I'll worry about that in a second, but we need circuitry to say whether the pumps should work or not. Uh, I want this to be a depot by default, but then if, if there's anything in these tanks... And unfortunately, we also have to include three pipes, which makes things a little bit more messy. Actually, no, we don't. Hmm. If I don't include the pipes, I, I think even if we do, we can be sure that with, with so few uh, containers, it's all going to get drained properly. But if that isn't the case, um, we would have to check if there's fluid in one or four of these containers to decide what length of train is allowed to come here. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, but for now, we're going to guess that it'll work okay if it's all connected. Um, and we're going to say if there is anything in these tanks. Uh, we're going to output provide threshold 1. So the absolute lowest value we can get. If, uh, if there's anything available here, a train can come to pick it up. Actually, we want probably multiple... Um, Yeah, no, no. Let's go, let's go output everything input count, and that's going to include the fluid. Very handy. Uh, it's also going to include priority 1 million. Um, min train, uh, we'll go for six length trains only, I guess. Well, I was going to say I want short trains to be able to come here as well, but I can't remember the last time we used a short fluid train. I think we were using those to get uh, flamer fuel to the walls at some point, but we haven't even used uh, short trains for fluids in a long time, so I don't think we'll worry about that. Uh, minimum maximum train length is 6. Train limit is 1. Uh, so we're going to connect this constant combinator to here. Oh, if anything is greater than... Hmm. What I want to say is if anything is in these tanks output everything. And I want it to be agnostic as to which signal comes from here, but I don't want it to use these as a signal to transmit all of this through. Hey Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Also, uh, it did occur to me at some point that maybe it would have been better if we could use robots to empty these trains. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I mean, I could... Okay, how many of these signals can I send? I think I can send all of these signals uh, to the train stop all of the time. And it won't matter if... Uh, if, if, I, if I tell it... Okay, I need to know some LTN trivia. If I always send what's in the fluid tanks to uh, the train stop and it's only receiving a sig... It, it, it's... Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. I, I do have the answer to this. Okay. So because our defaults are set up with um, a very, very, very large provide threshold by default, this is the provide threshold that it supplies if we're not sending a signal so, so the provide threshold is going to be too high to trigger a delivery, even if, even if telling it that it's a depot, um, doesn't stop it from saying, oh, there's something available to pick up here. That should be fine. Revit, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so I think, I don't know if we can get away with sending, okay, we're always going to send this stuff to, uh, to the station, 
I suspect even if we're telling it that it's a depot, it's not going to care if we send it a provide priority. And then we're going to say... Um, Yeah, I think I think this is just about it. Um, although I'll just edit this wiring a bit so it's a bit less of a mess. We're going to say if there's oh that that's going to receive we might need some combinators just to separate the wires and stuff here. Or I could use different colored wires for this bit. Okay, so we're going to read on both the red and the green wire everything that's in these tanks. On the red wire, we're going to send it directly to LTN. On the green wire, whoops, player get out of the way. Uh, on the green wire, we're going to say if there's anything here in the tanks output one uh, provide threshold so if there's any amount of fluid here we're allowed to pick it up and then that also goes to LTN fantastic T-Hacks has like a hundred now I am yet to see your spaceship uh, I indeed do have a Quite a lot of spaceships. Um, I've, I've actually lost count. What would be our favorite spaceship? The battleship? Uh, maybe the... Well, let's look at the... Let's look at a generic space truck. Preferably one that's in motion. Here we go. You're actually waiting somewhere. Morpheus 8. So here we have um, a bunch of lasers at the front for shooting down asteroids. Uh, just in case the engines are able to get able to make us go too fast, which it looks like they are, we read from an accumulator to set the speed, the target speed. So sooner or later, that's going to reach an equilibrium. Uh, when the accumulator charge gets low enough, we put more nuclear fuel in. Uh, we've got a few condenser turbines here. Which work just like regular um, uh, steam turbines. Except uh, I think they use more input to put out the same power as opposed to, like, putting out less power for the same input. Yeah, they consume 80 steam per second, but they output 99% uh, of it as water, so we can heat that up again and not run out of water for a very, very, very long time running a nuclear plant. We need this because ion engines are very, very power hungry. Uh, 333 kilowatts just sitting idle. And max consumption is 10.33 megawatts. So each of these uh, condenser turbines produces um, 5.82, which is a little bit more than we need just for the engine. Um... The idea of these pumps was to keep this area clear of water, but it doesn't really seem to work that way. If I overfill these tanks, um, it does actually get blocked. Uh, we've got a bunch of buffer chests for the bots to put stuff in. Once it's full, uh, we send signals to go to Nalvis and anchor at a certain parking spot. Once it's empty, 
uh, we go back to the planet to pick up some more. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, it turns out you can take off from a planet with uh, spaceship rocket booster tanks even if you don't have liquid rocket engines. They have like a VTOL component built in. You get a speeding ticket. Fantastic. Let them try to catch me in space to, uh, to follow that up. Okay, um, so let's review what we have here. We've got provide priority, a million, train length, one train only. We're sending LTN whatever fluids might be in here. And if there are any fluids in here, we are giving it a provide threshold of one. And then, last but not least, uh, I think we just need the opposite here. Where did my mouse go? Uh, we're going to say... Uh, if everything equals zero, we're going to output stop is depot. And that should do it. That looks kind of weird. What's the least sketchy looking layout for this? I think that's pretty good. We'll change it a little bit. Okay. And constant combinator shove in here since it's going to take up that oh we need some liquid we need some fuel shoved in here as well um but yeah that can go wherever the lasers might not be able to shoot the asteroids in time which would hit your ship and do damage what are the consequences if you go too fast yes that's it uh, later on, in fact, not too much later on, I think, um, we'll actually be able to get uh, shield projectors, which, from what I can see, uh, oh, they can block enemy projectiles if you have the Combat Mechanics Overhaul mod. I might actually install that. Um, but I think if you don't have that, Probably the way it's working is basically just constantly dealing damage uh, to this area. Or maybe just to enemies in this area. Um, we do have Material Science Pack 3 already, not Energy 4. We're still waiting on resources to actually get those Material Science Pack 3s though. Which uh, basically just com uh, comes down to many, many many testing packs which for some reason we're still struggling to get up here um i remember actually we were going to oh what's this what oh we don't have any bots here yet that's why okay so testing pack um is permitted Let me just check I set all of this up. We obviously set the train up. Filters, filters, testing pack, greater than or equal to 768, uh, 7680. Yeah, we've, we've actually got these shuttles full of testing packs, but we can only fill them with liquid rocket fuel so quickly. That's actually our bottleneck right now. And they do need to be pretty full, like almost completely full to take off. So we decided to add another um I think we're just waiting on bots actually being delivered here. Not by this one. Wait, actually probably by this one. Yep. 50 logi bots and 50 construction bots are on the way. 
testing pack shuttles five and six. I don't remember making that many. Three, four. Fantastic. So that one just took off. And it'll be arriving here in just a few seconds. Testing pack shuttle four. ETA nine seconds. Shoot down those two asteroids before you get there. Or maybe three. Fantastic. And let the testing packs flow again. Beautiful. Um, where are our construction spiders? I forgot to tell them to come back after completing that job. Okay. Well, I'll just click down this way. Um, I still need to figure out... We're not going to get a delivery here in the traditional sense. So when we read from the logistic train stop output, um, we're not going to get a signal saying less than uh, negative one for whatever fluid it is that we're putting in here. But we will get a... We will get a signal for the fluid that's positive um, when the train is here to pick it up. So you would think we could just say if anything greater than zero here. But that's not all of it, because we need to remove a bunch of signals from this um, that it also outputs. I wish you could just configure these things. Um, but instead, what we're going to have to do is... Um, we're going to read from logistic train stop output. This decider combinator is going to say each greater than zero output each input count. And then we're going to have negative a million for encoded positions of every locomotive and cargo wagon. Uh, we don't want those signals this time. So then whatever signal remains, if there is a positive signal, it should be the fluid that the train came to pick up. So... These four are going to be set to put f put fluid into the train, and these four, um, I think, are going to be set to everything equal to zero. If there's no signal coming out of this thing, and a train comes into the depot, then we want it to be emptied. Um, bonus points, can we actually... We cannot. I was wondering if we could have the tanks, um, connected to two sets of rail, but it just doesn't line up that way. I could add a little bit of pipe to make that happen, but transfer rates between storage tank, pump, fluid wagon directly is much 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 better and more importantly I want to make sure it doesn't leave a single drop of whatever fluid uh, in these. So now the question is just how many of these can we fit and I think the answer is going to be probably like six or seven on each side. So, let's find out. This goes here. And then... I think I'll put that there.
Not even that. Oh wait, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this one might have to leave this way. Actually, I can go onto the roundabout either way. Um, so that's gonna go here, 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 and here. Oops. Well, it'll need to go here. That's the main reason we're building this. So I think we'll just do it this way. Um, I want the same thing on the opposite side, if possible. I don't know to what extent we'll be able to pull that off. So if we mirror that, but we have the train stop here. Um, and then this needs to connect to this. This, what, this is going to look so much more awkward on this side. Actually, I could mirror the whole thing. Uh, not mirror, but rotate the whole thing. Um, that might be better, especially since it lets trains approach from either side. So, we'll just copy, paste with a flip. That makes a lot more sense, actually. And despite the train stations and combinators sticking out either side, I think it's sort of... If you look at the tanks in particular, it looks more symmetrical than that otherwise might have. Let's make sure we've got all of our signals. Actually, I think I want to... Ah, uh, nice. You are winning the rush for one F one FPS, indeed. Chamot, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so this goes here, this goes here. I'll copy-paste the rest so that it doesn't get flipped around wrong or something. Um, and we need the equivalent on this side. there, that goes there, and so on. What is this train doing? Oh, it's weirdly not full of beryllium powder, even though this is balanced by a circuit. Okay, not the most precise balanced circuit, but still. Surprised how imbalanced that got. That won't do any harm, though. As long as we have enough trains. Okay, so that goes there. And then... I'll just double check we've got all of these set up. Oh, let's give them names, shall we? Uh, I'll just use some text. Fluid Depot. I think that's actually it. The only thing that remains is to be seen is does it actually work. Um, so let's build the rest of it. Just a little bit more rail and signals. And I actually want to steal a train um, 
that has fluid in it. Can I... Oh, hello. Maybe it's bad to um, take one of our precious liquid rocket fuel. Oh, this is going to the wrong type of fluid depot. Okay. Let's change your schedule to go to one of these. And once it gets there, um, because there's no signal coming from this thing, the everything equals zero, the input pumps should work. Um, I do see a flaw in this now that I think about it. Kind of. Okay, so this is, this is a depot at the moment. Um... Maybe I need to send it the depot signal all the time, actually. So this thing... Oh, where are you going? Oh. Well. Uh, no problem whatsoever, actually. Wait, what? Hold on. What just happened? Why did it put fluid back in? Uh, okay, back to the fluid depot with you. Um... This is the kind of thing I might have to... Why did... Anything... Okay, what's happening here? It worked the first time. Um, I think I would like to see this not upside down. That might be a little bit easier to debug. So we do have zero liquid rocket fuel here, at least. Now then, as the train comes into the station, um, these everything equals zero input pumps are active, and the output pumps anything greater than zero. That's coming from the logistic train stop output. Oh, I think I see the problem. Oh, I see where I messed up. Um, okay. This is for cargo wagons. I need to change this. To... I could have left those signals there, but more importantly, I need to say encoded positions of every fluid wagon. Uh, we want to ignore those signals so that the only thing coming out of this uh, combinator is uh, fluid if the if the train came here to pick up the fluid as it was a pickup station so if it came to the depot like this um this is actually what we want to happen if everything why isn't this empty is it empty it looks like it's empty but the pump is still connected okay automatic So it looks like we've already got a train scheduled to come here to pick up our um, liquid rocket fuel. We're just waiting on this train being scheduled to go somewhere else. Uh, and we did, I was going to say, we did actually see this one get scheduled to, to go somewhere else. And then I thought, oh, we don't actually have to solve that problem, but I think that we are actually running into the problem that I was expecting now. So, the trouble is, I think we need this station to remain, to be a depot, until we get rid of the train. So we're going to read stopped train, I think. If everything equals zero, stop is depot. And I think we're going to also say 
if t is greater than zero when we read stop train uh, stop is depot and we need to add a condition that okay I don't know if the depot will override the provide threshold or not implicitly with LTN I kind of hope it does that'll be uh, one less combinator that we're going to need um, but we're going we're going to read stopped train don't need to read the train contents, I'll send a train, train id t, uh, if t greater than zero, output stop is depot. I don't think that's going to cause any problems when this train's here, like when they're picking up fluid, for example. I don't know why this pump, oh, this pump is active, but it was not, it still had fluid in it for some reason, even though there's room here. Working, liquid rocket fuel, 83, 28.3 of 400, and this isn't full. That's really weird. Okay, so I'm just going to send you away. And we've already got a train coming here. Um, I think it's parked. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay. So I need to rethink. Well, not rethink, but I need to redo all of these. It's easier if we just tear them up and put them back to make sure there isn't a mistake or a lingering wire. Um, cool, so this is full of liquid rocket fuel now. I think it was supposed to be. Liquid rocket fuel greater than or equal to 99k. Why? This is full. This is full. This is full. This is not full. I did anticipate something a little bit like this, but not that it would take this long to pump the fluid across. How long is it going to take to fill up? Just to be clear, we do have... Uh-oh. If this... Hmm... Because the pumps hold 400, that's actually a problem. I think we might actually have to get rid of these pipes. Let's do a little deconstruction planner. So all of these are going to be picked up. It's unfortunate that we can't line it up so that we just have the one container here. Yeah, so we need we need that to just go in a circle. I think we've ended up... I don't know how, to be honest. But we've ended up with a bunch of... fluid where it's not supposed to be. Okay, I'm just going to send this where it wants to go, and we'll just delete the fumes of liquid rocket fuel that are left behind. Thirty-five, thirty-two, thirty-one. Now it's getting slow. Oh god, we're going to have to waste like a thousand liquid rocket fuel because of the weirdness of pipes. Alright, off you go. To 
delete all of that. Does that include the liquid rocket fuel that was in the pumps? I think it does. Okay. So let's review. Uh, we're going to send what's in the tanks to LTN. We're going to read what's in the tanks and say if there's anything. Output passive uh, provide threshold 1. And if everything equals 0, if there's nothing, then stop is depot. We're also going to output stop is depot whenever there's a train parked here. Because if we send a fluid wagon back here with some fluid in it, and then it outputs to here, or inputs, depending on how you look at it, and then while the train is sitting here, this is scheduled for pickup, and the train came here saying this is a depot, I'm just going to go to the depot now, then that train isn't necessarily going anywhere. Um, it, it might not even be scheduled to go anywhere. Yeah, so I think, I think that might be right. I don't think constantly sending it to provide priority is going to have any problems. Uh, I don't think giving it stop is depot while we've got stuff available here. Well, I don't know how it's going to behave in response to that. If we're telling it that it's both a depot and a provider at the same time. I may have to prevent sending this signal. Um, if we're saying that the stop is a depot. Okay, so we need to hijack another fluid wagon. This one will do. Once it gets its liquid rocket fuel, that is. Any second now. Arbitrary train traffic rules. Can never figure them out. Maybe this one will get there first. I think it will. Right, so as soon as this one's full, we're going to send it to this stop. And then... wait, what? Go here, please. And then it's going to the new fluid depot. And we should get everything you... Wait, wait, no, don't... Oh, I think I see what happened earlier. Oh, no. Okay. Um, can we maybe... No, stop, 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 stop. Um, I'm going to have to manually put this back in. Oh, also, I meant to get rid of those pipes. I can still do that, but it might just not help right now. So we accidentally parked this somewhere like here. Um, it's not going to connect, is it? Really? So the train randomly stopped here and you said, okay, we're going to put fluid in, but I parked it here and now you're not going to do that. Okay. I see how it is. Just go to the fluid depot. And I'm going to have to put pipes here this time. Wait, but it's... It's putting... If anything greater than zero... 50k... 
Oh, I think it's reading the liquid rocket fuel that the train had. If everything equals it. Maybe I got that backwards. If the train comes here with liquid rocket fuel, we want it to dump it. And if... which will be no signal. No, wait. I think I did get this backwards. And if there's no signal greater than zero from this, then everything equals zeros, and we want to put it into... Uh, that's not right. If it comes here, just coming back to the depot, and it has fluid in it, do we get a signal from this? It looks like we do. That's a problem. How do I differentiate between... This train has fluid in it because it's just coming back to the depot and we want to store it versus here is a positive signal because this train is supposed to be picking up fluid. Hmm. This is the kind of experimentation I should probably do it, be doing in editor extensions. But uh, we can figure it out here. Alright, are we all empty again? And not balanced with our fluids? Why don't you go over here, please? If we can get this to work, this is going to be a much, much better fluid depot. Um, but it's looking a bit tricky. This one's picking up the fluid that we have here. That's good. Get rid of it, please. Uh, except our signals are wrong. This is actually a bit of an opportunity. So we get a positive signal when the train is looking to pick up fluid. And we get a positive signal when the train happens to come here with fluid, I think. That's not helpful. Is there a way for me to differentiate? I think, um... I think we just have to have some latch behavior where we remember that, oh, there was no, uh, there was no fluid here when the train came in. Perhaps it's better not to connect the, the tank pairs so they're not sloshing into each other and messing up distribution. Yeah, I've been meaning to disconnect those. Um, as soon as the train comes to, wait, didn't the train just come to take that away? No. Oh, you're leaving with less than all of it. Okay. There should be another train coming to take this away pretty soon, I think. Not this one. Oh, I see. Um, hmm. Oh, if, if we have a train limit of one, then that one that's in motion right now is the only one. So let's set it to two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to program a latch for this. Because we need a certain behavior if the tanks started empty. Versus a certain behavior if the tanks were full when the train arrived. Or had fluid. And I was going to use the logistic train stop output for that. But 
under the circumstances, it's going to give us a positive signal for whatever fluid in either circumstance. So, um, it's not actually going to, we're not actually going to be able to differentiate it. Uh, that one is leaving. This one is coming. Okay, cool. I just want to confirm... Oh, here we go. Please go here. I just want to make absolutely sure. Um, so if a train is just coming back to the depot, like returning from an LTN job, uh, it sh this should be a reasonable facsimile of that. Um, do we get a signal coming out of the logistic train stop output? We do. Okay. All right then. That's not what I wanted to hear, but now we know. All right. That is apparently all we're going to get rid of this time. Let's delete this uh, fuel. So we're not going to have the pipes connecting them. We're just going to have fluid go in here and out here. Um, and we have to design this without using the logistic train stop output. So, what are you doing? Oh, you came here to pick up one liquid rocket fuel? Okay. Too bad. It's acting as a depot now, anyway. Um... Okay, how do we do our latch? Apart from the obvious that we're going to use three decider combinators for this. We're going to have if green signal is greater than red signal. Uh, output one green signal. Connect that to its own input. And then these two have some conditions to trigger red or green. Um, oops. If fluid is greater than zero, output green. If uh, everything, if there's no fluid, output red. So, this will go green. Is that going to help at all? This is hard. Let's re let's think about what we want to happen here. A train comes in innocently, thinking it's just going back to the depot, but it has fluid. Um, if there's no fluid in this tank, we want 
this pump to be active. And we want it to stay active until the train leaves. So, if everything equals zero, green. And then, if uh, train equals zero, red. And we'll need to not connect that there, but this here. Yeah, if fluid is empty, we're green to activate this pump. I should probably rearrange the positioning of these a little bit. Um, so it's less confusing. Okay. If train equals zero, output red. So that's going to reset the um, the latch once the train leaves. If uh, fluid equals zero, output green. So if if we have fluid, then this is on. to let me get rid of these wires if you're trying to handle cleanup of fluid trains you could use LTN cleanup mod with dedicated cleanup stations for each fluid uh, it's fun to try to figure out a way to do it ourselves though uh, dev dot welcome welcome hope you're doing well Alright, so let's see. We want... Train comes in with fluid. There's no fluid here. We want this to be active. Um, which it is? Question mark? If green is greater than zero. Output one green. Is this connected? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is enabled. Okay, cool. And we want this one to be active under what conditions? So there's no fluid. Uh, we send a red signal to here. Whenever there's no fluid, we have a green signal coming out of this one. So this is active right now. Uh, we're constantly sending out a red signal when there's no train. When the train gets here, we'll stop sending that red signal. Um, so this becomes a memory cell holding on to the fact that we had no fluid here. We're going to keep pumping this until the train leaves. And then this one, I, I can illustrate it with a constant combinator. Um, so... Train isn't here yet. This is empty. We're outputting one green. Uh, this thing is outputting one green as well because green is greater than red. Or it shouldn't be at the moment, actually. Yeah, we're just outputting green from here, red from here. But this thing is just green is greater than zero. Um, train arrives. So this is this memory cell is holding on to green. Fluid is received. So we're not outputting green from this one anymore. But this thing is remembering that we had no fluid at the beginning. And then we have fluid. The train leaves. And this is now disabled. And then when a train comes back, we've still got no green signal because we only want to put this into the train. Okay, that's looking good. And then when do we decide? I think 
this just has the exact opposite condition, right? Um, if green signal, let's just say equals zero as opposed to less than or equal. Although that's technically the opposite condition. Um, we're pretty sure that we want these two pumps to always be on exactly opposite conditions, right? I'm just going to change that to less than or equal to zero. I feel better knowing these are on exactly opposite conditions. Okay, so that's our latch. And I think we want this... We probably want the depot or provider behavior to follow the same latch, question mark. So we want it to be a depot if this green signal is true. Train comes in. Uh, stop is depot, train unloads this. Signal is green until the train leaves. The moment the train leaves, we want it to turn into not a depot, but a provider station. I think that's right. So, uh, in a way, this part just became less complicated. Um, let's just get rid of that. And... I don't want to arrange these in a way that's more... Understandable, shall we say? I don't think we need the red and green wire now. So it won't make a difference. Um, so let's think this through. Stop. Well, let's do some decider combinators here. Um, we either want stop is depot, or we want provide threshold of one. And we're going to say if green, then stop is depot. If green is less than or equal to zero, stop is not depot, stop is provide. So I'll connect that to here, and let's imagine our train comes in. Uh, stop is currently a depot. Train arrives. We start to get some fluid. Disabled by control behavior. Why? This should still be green. What's going on? Oh, I forgot the... I forgot to switch this off for when the train arrives. Okay. I might need to reset the memory cell, I'm not sure. I would rather make sure I do. Okay. So train arrives. We get some fluid. We've got our green signal here. We're continuing to pump this as long as we can. And then once five seconds of inactivity has occurred, this train is available to be sent somewhere. Stop is still depot. Uh, train leaves. We still have our fluid. But we're not trying to pump this anymore. This one is active. We're not sending stop is depot. We're sending provide threshold. And yeah, I think I think this is it. And we also need to... Is it going to cause problems if we feed a green signal to the logistic train stop input, or a red signal? Maybe we should still have the red wire 
um, connecting all of these. It saves me the trouble of removing them over here as well. So we're just going to connect that uh, here. And that's actually pretty neat. Okay, this might be it. Let's hijack a train. And I might just move those up, like, here a bit. So we need a fluid wagon that has any kind of fluid in it. I might just hijack a water train if there is one. Not that I can see. Oh, how about you? Let's hijack you. Go get some water. Okay, once you have water... Wait, what? You've got your 100k. Now could you please come over here? Zero second wait, actually. Act actually, actually. Go here so that the temporary stop isn't even in front of that station. So that the tank... Uh, the pumps don't do anything weird. Um, yeah, go to this temporary stop and then go to the nearest fluid, new fluid depot, which is here. Five seconds of inactivity. Um, I guess I'm going to need to add a station to drop off water to make absolutely sure we get rid of this as quickly as possible for testing purposes. Uh, I don't actually... I don't really need to do that properly. Alright, there's our water. And the latch is working. What the? That was sudden. But we've got our 25k fluid in this little loop. It's not going to slosh about anywhere else. Um, this train should be waiting. This train needs to be assigned to go somewhere. If I send it somewhere manually... Well, I kind of want to... Hmm. Can I change this to, like... Does depot priority mean they're more likely to park here, or it's a higher priority that we use this train, or both? I don't know if I can just send depot priority. A repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, LTN just solved our problem for us. Uh, the train is leaving, so now... Now it's just turned into a provide station. We're no longer saying it's a depot. We're now saying it's a provider. And we've got super high priority pickup. Provide threshold of only one. And we just need somewhere um, for this water to go. To be absolutely sure that all of this is working properly. So let's make a drop off here. What the... Train stop is... Oh, that's a vanilla train stop. Let's make a drop off here. And... Add some... Fluid stuff. Why not? And we're going to request water. Um, I wonder if the slight lack of water here, like, because, because we've got, like, 35, 35, 40, well, 400, oh, this is, 
Yeah, the input pumps are holding on to 35.9 water each. So... Is it going to think that there's less water here than there actually is? Well, it, it does, but does that matter? If our request threshold is 100k, and this only has 98,000... Am I going to have to add some circuitry to pretend there's just a little bit more? I think I... I think I do. Yeah, I, I think... What's the best way to do this? I could literally just put a arithmetic combinator between these and say, let's just double check, on the green wire we're only getting the water signal, right? This green wire right here. Okay. Uh, and it needs to go on this red wire. That looks weird. I put it over here, perhaps, or maybe uh, down here would make more sense. Yeah, that because the, then then it's these two that are taking the water input. Um, okay, so we're gonna go. Can we go each plus two thousand? Well, let's say like five thousand. Output each. Output signals one hundred and three thousand water. Okay, perfect. Except, I think we just told LTN that we've got, like, 200,000 water here. Which is probably fine, but because this red wire is already... We could get rid of this red wire down here. Um, but because the train limit is 1, it's probably fine. Uh, I think we've got a train coming here to pick up our water, that's why the light is yellow. That train has a bit of a distance to cover. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't run into too much traffic. Since it's going straight the whole time and it's got speed, I imagine it'll take priority. Fluid 17k. Why is it only trying to pick up 17k? Where is it going with that? Oh. It's going here? Request threshold 16k. This is an old combinator. Um, we want to change this to provide a uh, request threshold 160. Stack threshold, that is. And then fluid request threshold 100,000, which would also be the physical threshold, but we're not going to end up with 100,000 iridite. We couldn't fit it in these chests. Or a train, for that matter. More importantly. Also, also, I should probably be deconstructing uh, this block. That's the old iridite processing. And we've got the new one going full speed. 
Um, but that kind of threw off our testing. Or did it, because... It might actually even help our testing. Um, so we're going to get rid of the red wires after all. Get rid of these tanks because they've got too many wires on them. That one's a bit more complicated. Not going to delete all that liquid rocket fuel. Uh, let's delete all the pumps, actually. Since the wiring is all messed up. Maybe... I think a deconstruction planner would have been quicker, except that they do persist here, and then I have to clean them up later. Okay, so we've now got... I'm just going to say plus 100,000. Wait, that's not going to work. Hmm. How do I... I think I need to normalize... Mm. Normally a train would only come back here with 100k, right? But what if it didn't? We... Maybe we should start having some requests... Hmm. Okay, the thing about this monstrosity right here is a train could come back with a few whiffs of sulfuric acid. Uh, but once it adds up to 100k in the storage over here, that's when we have a train come and pick it up. But it requires an awful lot of piping to do this, and we have to have a separate pump pointed at each uh, fluid wagon for each different fluid width that we can do, and there's no way that we can do all of the fluids. Uh, but the trouble with the system we're building now is normally we have a request threshold of 100k. And if we do end up with a fluid here that's less than 100k, um, we're going to have... We're going to have a train coming here. Well, it's either not going to come here because there's not enough fluid, or if we pretend there's a bit more like we were going to, because a bit of it gets stuck in the pump and doesn't get counted, it's going to come here for 100k, and then it'll have, like, fluid 100k is what it's trying to pick up, and then it won't actually ever reach that condition. But that might be, like... Oh, it just stole a little bit of fluid again, didn't it? How dare you. Um, that might be as good as it gets anyway. Like, without making a huge, huge, huge uh, fluid depot with the downsides that I just described. Uh, I don't think I mind that much if occasionally I have to find a fluid wagon in the depot. Or rather, if I have to occasionally find some fluid in here that... I'm going to have to set a lower request threshold for somewhere. I could have storage. We've already got... Um, we've already got... Holy crap, that's still a lot of bio sludge. Uh, we've already got a storage for bio sludge here, for example. Um, with a low priority drop-off, high priority pickup, and... Uh, encoded network IDs so we don't pick up from here and drop off here. We could have a... We could have a super low request threshold on the storage, perhaps. And that would allow it to fully automate.
maybe. I think for now, um, I think we now, for now, we will just pretend there's more than 100k here whenever we've got fluid. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I am wondering if you're overthinking this. I should think so. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this is, at least for now, this is probably the most elegant solution um, that I'm going to come up with anyway. I'm a little bit excited to see what I might come up with in the near future with my brain iterating on this. Uh, let me just do this the obvious better way. There we go. And I may as well set this up like I was going to. Uh, request threshold one. All of the water, please. And we should see a train coming to pick this water up soon because we set it at a super high priority, uh, provide threshold is one, and then I just want to make sure it gets rid of every drop and turns back into a depot. Why is there a... what? Why is this yellow? Um, which train is picking up Why is it yellow? What? Okay, this one being yellow would make sense. This... This is bad, though. Let's just send you here. Actually, no. Uh, send you here. I should have moved that train out of the way before I pasted that. So you are going to turn this into a liquid rocket fuel pickup. You are picking up the water, fantastic. Why? How? What? How did you get here looking for water, uh, looking for liquid rocket fuel? What? Nani? I'm very confused. Um, how about you go over here? Okay, so this one looks like it's working as intended. Um, the train has dropped off its fluid. This has turned into a depot. And the train isn't leaving yet because it hasn't been assigned to anything, but we can tell from the blue light that this is behaving as a depot. Alright, are you actually looking for water? Yes, you are. Okay, good. That part's working properly. And we're going to get rid of every last drop of water. I hope. To the point where it says 0, 0.0 in all of these. What? Uh-oh. Did our latch just flip? I think our latch just flipped. That was not as planned. Why did our latch flip? The train is still there, like technically. How did, how did this happen? I didn't think this would take this long, but it's a surprisingly interesting problem. Um, that is connected, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
If green greater than red, this is outputting green because there's water. So I need to step through this. Um, you you can go somewhere else. So the train, there was water here, it acts as a provider, the train comes, uh, we're outputting, we're not outputting green because we have water, we're outputting red because there's no train. The train arrives, yeah I think I stepped through this for when we're dropping off fluid, not for when the train comes to pick it up. Uh, the train arrives. We stop sending the red signal. We're not sending the green signal yet. As soon as this is empty of water, we do send the green signal. Okay. Uh, in that case... In that case... We need this to not change from red to green while there's a train here. Can I out... hmm. What if I just output like two red while the train is still here? Is that... Train equals zero... No. If train equals not here, one red. If the train is here but water ceases to exist, we want... we don't want this to go green. Ah, uh, this is hard. This is surprisingly difficult. Um, we, we might actually need like two different latch behaviors depending on what the train came for. And I can't think how to determine that. Hmm. I might just, uh, delete all this fluid. I'll take a break from this problem and come at it another time, probably at another angle. Um... That's... Problematic? Yeah, I, I need to take a break from this problem. Let's do something else. Um, I just need to uh, change these so that we're not using them for now. And I might just change the name of these stations. Let's move these trains somewhere else. You can read the out box on the LTN station. Tells what it wants and how much. Yeah, I am aware of that, but... Uh, Morten, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, wait, I actually tried to use that first, but the problem is I couldn't determine the difference. Uh, I got a positive signal for fluid if the train arrived here with fluid, even if it was coming here as a depot stop. And I got a positive signal for fluid if the train was asking for fluid. So normally if it's a drop-off station, if the train is trying to empty itself of fluid, you get a negative one, I think it is, on the logistic train stop output. But because 
because the train is arriving here in the first place, um, just coming to a depot, uh, I, I haven't found a way to differentiate, at least using the logistic train stop output, I can't tell the difference between if it's coming here Just coming into the depot or coming here to pick up fluid. Um, so the latch was going... The, the big idea to deal with that was the latch, but there's something in it, there's something in there that I didn't anticipate, which is that when a train does come... It's actually the final hurdle, um, if we can get this working. We might be close, we might not. Uh, when the train does come here to pick up the fluid, when it's treating it as a pickup station, um, it actually... The moment we're finished um, emptying the fluid, the, the green signal goes true again. Um... We might just need to add another memory cell. Like... When train... While T is greater than 1, the train signal. Output everything input count and include the fluid. And then once the train leaves, we stop including the fluid. That might do it. I, I don't want to play with it anymore right now, but I'll just put that here as like an idea. Um, oh, that, that's going to get cross-contaminated. Uh, let's do just a red wire directly to there. And we're going to go... If T is greater than zero, output everything input count. Which is, of course, going to double as a sort of pseudo-timer. Uh, whatever T we're getting here, it's going to add every single tick until the train leaves. But if there was fluid here... Except this thing works as everything equals zero, so the T is going to count. So that doesn't help. The fact that it needs to be generic makes it extra challenging. Okay, let's head back to the mall for now, and we'll get our construction spiders to follow. Uh, lol, never thought about that. I don't have a... I don't have depot trash. Set LTN to never leave station until empty. Uh, yeah, I do as well, but occasionally something happens, and it's easy to just send a train back to the depot with items in it. Um and have it automatically get recycled. Okay. Let's continue with our orbital science. Oh, that's right, we're still waiting on 600 million testing packs um, in order to get our radiation shield data. We're very close to having that picked up now. And 7.7k explosion shielding data as well. I guess I'm not too surprised. Wait, are we now on blank data cards? Uh-oh. No, we haven't... Yeah, we have. We've run out of blank data cards here. I thought we were spitting out a lot of blank data cards from... Uh, Universal Simulation, but apparently not that much. Uh-oh. We need more copper. Why do we need more copper right now? Oh no. Copper is also suffering from the can't refuel fast enough situation. 
Uh, yeah, part of the reason I was doing this over here is because we need more fluid wagons. I suspected. So let's uh, let's make a few. Let's say ten more fluid wagons. Oh, sorry. This would be this would be ten more fluid wagons. In all the excitement trying to figure out those circuits, I haven't actually set up anything to refuel the trains here. Um, so we should probably do that. Where's my remote? I wonder if we could squeeze it in here now that I've accidentally used more space than I meant to. Probably. We don't need a trash train in this block. So just the one small drop off for nuclear fuel on either side. I feel like we can just rely on nuclear fuel at this point. Um. Yeah, we haven't had any trouble producing that for a long time. Okay. So what I'm what I have in mind is an LTN stop somewhere like this. Um, the train won't have to come here often. So it's o it'll be okay if it's in the way. Or we could even put it somewhere like this. That should be fine. Or even here. Alright, let's figure out the coziest spot to insert our nuclear fuel. I am going to be... Um, Having to put this here in advance of information on how I want the combinators to look later on, but I think we'll be okay. Probably just something like this, even. And a chest. Can I get a chest from one of the construction spiders. Wait, I thought I brought the construction spiders here with me. Whoops. What is that loud noise that happens every so often? It is a spaceship taking off or arriving. Uh, Alright, so something like this perhaps? And I would need to put the train stop maybe here. Is that too tacky? I think we're okay. Uh, that needs to be an LTN train stop, actually. So we're going to be... Where's a constant combinator when you need one? Uh, I feel like I could probably put it like this way. It would be a little bit less tacky looking. Set the request stack threshold 
Um, probably a full short train. set the maximum that we're looking for to 48. So what am I doing? We put the uh, fuel. Theoretically this should never get overfilled. Theoretically. We've only got one cargo wagon and one chest to worry about so it definitely won't get overfilled because of it being imbalanced. We need to connect the contents of the chest to the logistic train stop input. Uh, and then we need to switch this on. And let's copy that to the other side. Didn't take long to get a train coming over. Fantastic. It will take a minute to get here, but... I do believe this will sort out. Oh! I almost forgot to put fuel into the locomotives on the other end. So let's maybe put a splitter, I guess. Um, the f the nuclear fuel is going to be on the right side of the belt from the perspective of the inserter, I think. So this splitter here would be fine, actually, if that's the case. And I wish I could just do it like that, but alas. Um, something like this. Actually, I could make it more consistent with... No, that doesn't reach. Is this going to be in the way? I think it is. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, let's make... Let's do this in a way that's more consistent with what we've done al already over here. Uh, so something like this. Put that over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then move that for now. Copy-paste this side, put it here, and that should get us some fuel for all of our locomotives. Is this train coming? Yeah, it is. With... Hold on a sec. How can you be asking for 48 nuclear fuel? Can't you only fit... Oh, no. Uh, okay. I forgot to change the... the train size for these ones. Whoops. Whoopsie-daisy. We're getting some long trains where we're only able to fit some short trains. We'll just have to wait till they get here. I forgot I made it possible to pick up... I'm surprised, actually, uh, that I made it possible for long trains to pick up nuclear fuel, but here we are.
maybe I should be sending these to space as well, just for the productivity bonuses. It's only two prod modules, and there is a cost associated with sending things to space. A space elevator would be such a massive game changer. Where are, are our trains? Oh, here, but here comes the first one. It's actually the one going to the southern drop-off that's getting there first. All right, we're just gonna have to take this and. Redistribute, redistribute the nuclear fuel a little bit more. Fantastic. And same thing when the other one gets here. Oh, here it comes. Uh, didn't I set these to not be? Oh no. I copy-pasted. Yeah, I, I, I set these to not work anymore because... Because we haven't set it up properly yet. I think these are all doing the dance of they came here to pick up... No? This one came here to pick up nuclear fuel. These two are in the depot. And not nuclear fuel, liquid rocket fuel. Alright, um... I think there is a quick fix we can do here, though. Yeah, for now I'll just wait until that situation presents itself. Um, and obviously just delete water. It doesn't have water in it, does it? No. Oh, the liquid rocket fuel is basically empty. Alright, let's get rid of that as well. Fantastic. Are you ready to leave? Pretty much. It doesn't actually show that there's liquid rocket fuel there with the icons, but I think it was in the pumps. Alright, so... Until we do have an accident with fluid, we can just use these as regular depots. Uh, that'll be fine. Here's our friend. Which I forgot about for a second. Cool. Should be a little nuclear fuel making its way to this locomotive. It's already fueled, it's fine. Nuclear fuel does last a while. Okay. Uh, last but not least, the whole point of all of this is so that we can spam some more fluid wagons. I would like to make them blue though. I should have copy-pasted the settings first. Blue. And same again. How many have I got enough for? Uh, ten. More than we can fit here. We'll have to wait for a bit more nuclear fuel. Oh, I should have double checked. But yes, this is on the convenient side of the belt with the inserter and this uh, half belt here. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four. 
Actually, that may have been too many. No, we're good. Actually, the fact that it's not default color makes it nice and easy to make sure that we've copied the settings to all of them. Alright, so we're just going to have to wait for the nuclear fuel to get here um, before we can get these in motion. So let's drop one more over here. And head back to the mall. Can't remember. I think I needed. I think I only needed the construction spiders for literally a steel chest. I probably should have just handcrafted that. Neat, indeed. The spaceships, I think. Um. Alright, so this should be more than enough fluid wagons to keep up with the production of liquid rocket fuel. Hopefully we can stop... Uh, I don't know to what extent we're bottlenecking on just delivering the, the liquid rocket fuel. I think I would have seen more... blue triangles here, if that were the case. But now we can be absolutely sure we're not bottlenecking on that. Um, copper plate, iron plate, we should probably duplicate over here, just like we're doing with testing packs. In fact, I can probably literally just copy-paste this. Um, I don't want to add more shuttles, though, at the moment. I don't think those are needed, question mark. Maybe it wouldn't hurt. Let's bring the ship constructor over here. We'll finish building these uh, spaceship floors. And then we can just copy-paste uh, this part. Which will automatically create a couple more iron plate and copper plate shuttles, as well as all of the um, settings here. Except for... Whitelisting, iron plate, and copper plate. Okay. Wait, did I? I'm not going to overwrite that combinator with this copy paste. Fantastic. I do wish blueprints and copy pastes would just like remember the ghosts that sit on top of the floors, for example. Um, so you didn't have to wait and do it again. Oh, I should definitely drop off what productivity modules I have on me at the moment to make sure these builds are as fleshed out as they can be. And I think we had one up here as well. Yeah, that's for... Oh, I also need to bring some more electric boilers for that. I can make one right now. Um, that's how you build for core fragments, so... A bit more productivity bonus on that means we literally get a bit more of everything. Why is it not moving right now? Oh, because we're not deleting the water. I really need those electric boilers. Okay. Uh, construction spider number one. Could you please carry some electric boilers? There we go. 
and then head over here please. Fantastic. Not so fantastic is whenever I check on Holmium it's not flowing. Uh, 4.3 we did have a delivery of Holmium ingots at some point. I think they stacked to 16k for a train though. No, it's 8k. So there's actually enough Holmium ingots here. Oh, I think we have it set up so that... Where is it? Uh, provide stack threshold is 400, which is more than double... More than two train loads. Significantly more than two train loads. That's a, probably a bit overkill, actually. But it's to make sure we don't try to load one of these. And then... Like, two trains at the same time come in trying to take whatever resources. I should maybe experiment with lowering that. At the very least, we could go down to, like, 320. Or if we do go to 160, is that really a problem? Probably, but I would like to see what it looks like. So we should see a train coming here pretty soon to pick up Holmium ingots. Might take a moment to get scheduled though. Um, I need some... Tier 6 modules in here please. Oh, we're missing more of these than I thought. And considering we're bottlenecking on Holmium Cable, I didn't mean to swap out the efficiency modules. How dare you. Um, let's just do a copy-paste for this. It'll be a little bit easier. Okay, so I think we got all those prods now. Very nice. And they should be negative 80% power consumption still. When this is working, 128 holmium powder per second. Uh, how many efficiency modules is this? Nine. So, efficiency 6, speed 6. Let's go. Why have we had... Okay, this train has been here a while, I think. Uh, why have we had no more beryllium coming in? Because the tr uh, because the spaceship is struggling to take off. Okay, can we get our new fluid wagons moving yet? Not just yet. Why is this train waiting so long? Oh, oh, I should have, I should have thought of that. That was sub. That was of suboptimal intelligence. Um. Yeah, I should have built the rocket fuel drop-off here, like I was thinking about before. I guess we'll do it now. Somewhere like this, perhaps? And... I'll just go steal that 
rocket fuel. Oh, not rocket fuel, nuclear fuel. As much as I can. Shove it in this chest. It's probably another short one. Yep, there it is, waiting with our nuclear fuel. Alright, as soon as you are fueled, fantastic. Need to get some up the other end as well. Give me the nuclear fuel back for a second. Okay. Um, could you please leave for a moment? And I need to do the same thing on this side. I guess I'll take some from the end of the belt. Oh, surprising amount, actually. Probably shouldn't be surprised. Okay, you can also go on a short trip. I'll let the trains deliver this fuel for the moment. And then I'll move everything. Okay. Uh, so we need our chest right about here. That'll do. And once this is unloaded, we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Why are fuel trains still long? Uh, what do you mean by that? The fuel, the new trains delivering the nuclear fuel are still short. I just stupidly, um, I mean, it might have been okay once everything was in motion, but we need this one to be empty, like not have a long train in the depot in order to have room for the fuel train to drop off its nuclear fuel. Oh, that was another delivery, shockingly quick. Um, so yeah, let's delete this, and then we'll copy this to the opposite side. Fantastic. Make sure the chest gets there, it doesn't end up in my logistics trash. Good. Last thing, don't forget to connect. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, okay, I'm just going to cheat a little bit. Perfect. We're just going to use that signal, which is going to read nothing as a jumping off point for that wire. Otherwise, I would have had to move this back a couple of tiles or something. All right, that should be fixed now. Um, do we have more nuclear fuel coming? I thought I saw a train was delivering here already. Oh. Yeah, I think... I don't believe there's any instance where... Um... Where we're using long trains to deliver nuclear fuel. So... Oh, 
Oh, right. I can't do it that way. Can I cancel it? It's an upgrade. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to take a few button presses to do it this way, but we don't have to physically go over there. And we're going to stop limiting these. And there's going to be a lot more storage that we can go through when we need it that way. Yeah, I don't know when I was imagining I would ever be delivering nuclear fuel with long trains. Um, maybe uranium fuel cells? I still don't see it, actually. Also, this should have been moved over a couple of tiles so that we don't have the uh, dead rail chain signals here. Rookie mistake. Okay. Um, I guess it's okay to keep reading these chests because we do have this available. Cool. Uh, I really want to see these trains ready to go because we've got so much liquid rocket fuel that we need to be moving. If liquid rocket fuel stops moving fast, everything stops moving fast. Into orbit, at least. Maybe I should manually fuel some of these trains. Might be a good idea. Kind of hard to see this one. Let's pick up some more from the belt. Not seven. There's the flashing lights here that are, look like they could be the train lacking fuel, but I think we might be good now. Cool. Let's make sure all of these are activated. I think I missed one. I did not. That's the third one, fourth one, and you're already active. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we should see our liquid rocket fuel getting around a lot faster now. What's this? Oh, prod modules. By all means. Take my prod modules. We already distributed all the prod modules I've got. Okay then. Back to the mall for a second. What's our train limit here? One. That's no good. Let's go three. That should drain the rest of that pretty quickly, I think. Also, why are these stack inserters? The stack size is one. Oh well. Who knows what I was thinking back then. Oh yeah, the spaceships. Uh, we've got our floor. We can finally copy-paste, if I can scroll back to it. Our copper and iron plate settings and shuttles. Where did those bots come from? Wait. Oh. oh. 
that was fast. <laughs> I think we had some iron plate shuttles and copper plate shuttles waiting to land. So... They actually replaced the ghosts before we could even build anything at all. Which means we probably just lost all of that spaceship floor. Not much we can do about that. Um, okay. That was weird. How many iron plate and copper plate shuttles do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four of each. Okay. So we've got just enough landing places for all of them. And we've got two drop-offs uh, for each of them as well. I should probably... Hmm. Increase the liquid rocket fuel drop-off priority, perhaps? I don't see... Okay, I think these two have been in motion. Yep, there they are. The new ones are blue. Okay, cool. So that's all working. There should pretty much be trains picking up this stuff constantly. Which it seems like there are. It's just a bit much traffic around here. Maybe I should make another block like this. Especially over... Either close to here and or close to here. Probably would make a lot of sense. I need a bunch of productivity sixes. Um, if I don't want to lose the prod bonus though. But don't we have, like, practically infinite Vulcanite these days? Yeah, Vulcanite... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I thought this was full. What's happened here? Why is it blue? It shouldn't be blue unless it's a depot. 64,000 Vulcanite. Um, we've got... 24 times 50 times 48, 57,600. I may have messed that up. It's fine. 54,000. Did it run out of water? It ran out of water. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, could you please go back to the depot? This is a great example of why I have that recycling set up. This one doesn't need to move. We don't need a lot of water here. Uh, 375 per second. But it's just far enough away it would be a pain to pump it over. I could steal it from here, but then our ice build is going to cry. What are the station to the southeast and northwest over the lines of the liquid setup doing? Southeast and northwest. Uh, of the liquid setup. Do you mean here or here? This one doesn't see much traffic these days. It's uh, the old cargo rockets. Um, this one is iridite, uh, iridium powder, which is looking completely saturated. Has this train been waiting to leave this spot for like two years? I do wish it would actually use this path, which is obviously a bit clearer. Um, but it just doesn't want to go through that uh, train stop there. Why don't you use stack size instead of amount? No math issues that way. 
Uh, I do use stack size. Um, for the request stack threshold or provide stack threshold, but I can't use it for the actual resource. Just two stations on their own in the middle of tracks adjacent to the liquid city block. Liquid city block. Okay. Just two stations on their own. Just two. Do you mean these ones? That's just to drop off the nuclear fuel for the fluid wagons. Yeah, that's all that is. Hmm. There might just be too much train traffic around this. Okay, I think we should make another one. At least another one. Make it nice and close to all of the liquid rocket fuel that needs to be dropped off here. Oh, we've got this problem again. I shouldn't even be requesting liquid rocket fuel here anymore. I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, how are you full if you're trying to drop off here? All right. Never mind, you know what? Just go over here somewhere and drop off at the nearest uh, liquid rocket fuel requester. On the next tracks out from the nuclear fuel, two standalone stations. Next tracks out. Oh, this one? Oh, I think that was accidentally copy-pasted from when I was just making a test station to request water. Come to think of it... Oh, it's been pretending it has water. Luckily I did that wrong. I forgot to put a negative. Yep, that won't do anything bad. I'll just mark it for deconstruction for when we go past there again. Uh, so... Let's build another one of these. Should that have... yeah, it should. And we'll get the construction spiders in on it. Oh, where did I send them? That's right, we were building the electric boilers so that we can get rid of the water, which gets produced shockingly quickly. Um in this block. 871 water per second just from the output from the core fragments. That's them thought they should go? Yeah, they should. That's correct. Alright, finally we get to see our, our new build for vanilla core fragment processing working beyond full speed, actually, because these are supposed to be... Okay, most of them are prod sixes. Um, but yeah, we've got a lovely sushi arrangement right here. Um, we do get something like five belts of output from this. How many machines is this? 24... Very roughly one, two, three, four, four and a bit belts, I would think, with tier six modules, but we've got eight belts uh, to support that. Uh, we filter the uranium over here. It's very, very, very slow, so just four chests is more than enough. Uh, well, it's exactly enough, actually, since we're putting it into, into four cargo wagons. Um, but 
the only reason we put uranium up here, apart from the fact that it would be like one or two steps, it is going to take a while before it reaches a train load. Uh, the only reason we actually need to do that strictly though is we can only fit five filters on these inserters. And we're using a each divided by the negative number of chests output each. And the positive number comes from the red wire for what's in your local chest. So then that would be zero if an item is exactly average, positive if it's above average, and then we just set filters blacklist. So anything that we've got above the average of, we're not allowed to pick up any more of. That's how we balance all of these different resources in these chests. And then we have some precise loaders to make sure that the inserters don't stick out onto the rail after we're done. Construction spiders are still walking. Um, that's going to take a little while. I need to put tier 3 modules in these because I just don't have tier 6s available. Meanwhile, in orbit, we still don't have radiation data. 7.7k, 7.7k, it's still exactly where it was where we left it. Oh, that's right, blank data card became the problem. We've actually caught up on testing packs, at least for the moment. I might, I might actually unlock these because this, uh, the testing pack stack size is so small, we need all the storage we can get for it. I could even consider adding some rows of chests here with inserters. I just have to trust the bots to balance these. I know they do balance them, but maybe not perfectly. Let them flow freely in D. Okay. Uh, copper, meanwhile... Copper is bottlenecked on refueling, even though we have fuel here. Just never enough, and it never pumps fast enough. That's why we're building this right now. Weirdly enough, these two copper... Okay, these ones aren't actually full of copper yet, so there's that. Construction spiders are finally endeavouring to join us. How many prod sixes do I have in space? Uh, there's none here, so we just picked it up recently. Here we have zero. That can't be right, can it? We have two Productivity 6 modules in all of orbit. Um, that's bad. We've got 32 tier 5s. And we only need three of those. Don't tell me there's no biological catalogue. No, we've got it right here. It's blue circuits. Uh-oh. Uh, we've run out of blue circuits. Have we run out of Holmium cable again? Yes, we have. We really need to fix that. Been trying to fix it for uh, at least five minutes. Oh, these are regular accumulators. Lol, no.
Um, anything else I need to fix here? I need to put some prods in this, even if they're not tier 6. Just don't do the beacon. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay. And once we've actually got the prods... I doubt if it's possible with what can be done with modding, but I'd be very impressed if Module Inserter could... Uh, could put layers of... Okay, put Prod 6 in this if you can, otherwise put Prod 3. Always the blue circuits? Yeah, it's often the blue circuits. Alright. Wait, this one is still looking for prod sixes. How did that work? Even though it got the prod threes? I mean, that's what I want to do anyway. But I didn't tell it that yet. What? Did I not include fuel refinery? I did not include fuel refinery. That's probably got something to do with it. Um, let me check the one we copied this from. I thought we had tier 6s everywhere. We do. Okay. That's weird. Um, so let's add fuel refinery... Tier 6 productivities. Cool. And I'll put a note here as well. But that should probably help with our refueling problem. I hope. You guys are advanced with me, it's always red circuit shortages. Just gotta keep pushing those bottlenecks. Oh wow. Saturated red circuits, that is something to behold. Maybe I should have... I could even do this with crafting combinators, but I don't want to add that much... UPS drain and such. Um, I would much rather get Holmium cable flowing and use all of it for blue circuits so that everything else is cheap. On the other hand, if, if all of our other resources are abundant and we're just using Holmium cable to, to make it cheaper for, for those other resources and we're struggling on Holmium right now, Maybe it doesn't make that much sense um, to use Holmium Cable for all of our blue circuits. Did I not set... I did. 8001. This isn't full yet. How is it not full yet? Provide stack threshold 160. There should be just enough... What? How? How did we summon a train when there wasn't enough... How much do we have here? Soon gonna find out. Holmium ingots. And we should now know how much we've got. It's still climbing. 3.9k? Why did we summon a train if we've only got 3.9k? What? Uh, I'm going to change this back to what we had over here. Never mind that little experiment.
Yeah, I, I think we should just use the regular blue circuit recipes for now. What the? O okay, fine. I'll do it this way. And vomit items onto the ground. There's going to be the Holmium cable to pick up anyway. Oh, where did the inputs go? Oh, I see, we picked up so much green circuit at the same time that that's what happened. <laughs> okay. Alright, and up here as well. And here I was thinking, it's such a small amount of Holmium cable per blue circuit, we can just use that from now on. But apparently not. Not until we fix a few things. We've got no no shortage of Holmium core fragments. Uh, the rate they're being mined. We've got... I think we need some more ships for Holmium. Actually, now that I look at it. But also the main problem, I think, is just not refueling these ships fast enough. What was the advantage of using Holmium for blue circuits? The cost of every other resource goes from 20, 2, and 5 down to 10, 1, and 2. So basically half price except for the Holmium cable. Which is not insignificant to say the least. Um, why are you... Oh. This was supposed to be, like, a not-in-use number. That's fine. It'll sort itself out now. Okay. What do we have over here? Is this working? I think so. We could do... I think it would be wise. We'll do another depot here for fluid wagons. So once this fluid wagon has done its job, um, it'll probably... Well, where is it going? Yeah, once this fluid wagon has done its job, it'll probably park here. So that means less traffic going back and forth and shorter trips, faster trains, and so on. Wait, what? No, this is... no. Uh, this is not the depot we're looking for. I copied the wrong depot. It's taking a while to undo because we're removing a lot of signals, among other things. Okay, let's... why is this so fast? Let's copy this one. thought this was the one I copied. And this goes here. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Finally established my base. Time to launch my first rocket after 24 hours. Lol, indeed. There's always something. Also, yes, congrats indeed. Okay. 
Nuclear fuel should be on its way pretty soon. Hopefully this will fix some things. I almost think maybe it was a mistake changing to... Um, I don't know. I don't see how I could have anticipated just how much liquid rocket fuel this would take, like viscerally. Uh, this, this is full. Okay, so we're now, I think we're finally bottlenecking on the actual copper, perhaps? Or copper from the trains. We should have a ton of copper still available for pickup from all of the Omni smelters. Okay. I'm a little sad about changing the blue circuit recipe back. Not gonna lie. In fact, doesn't this use too much uh, green circuit for this belt shape? It absolutely does. Curious if there was a speedrun attempt in SE, but nothing on the official site. It would take a minute. I think even if I were to, like, finish playing through the game and then make a whole lot of blueprints or take blueprints from what I've got, spend time refining all of the blueprints and making sure they work properly and everything in, like, Super Editor and just have everything ready to go right from the start. It would still be a pretty long playthrough. Just to first rocket? Yeah, that would probably make more sense. It wouldn't be that much different from vanilla though, right? Alright, so now our copper plate is going to launch. $1,000 to do it in one city. <laughs> That's nowhere near enough. Especially if I had... Uh, especially if I have to work. We'll make it a subathon. <laughs> one sitting. Jesus. Is that even possible? What would the... Uh, what would the wind condition be? I mean, how much research would it take? I, I'd, I'd have to build everything smaller, obviously. I'm thinking for my next playthrough of whatever. Um, maybe just trying to do like the same thing, but with smaller blocks and smaller trains. Partly because it might just be a novel way to do things, but also... Uh, just keep the UPS higher. What's this? Oh, we still don't have those modules, of course. I'm a little concerned that we still don't have beryllium. Is it Morpheus? Okay, I think we've got... We've got two ships waiting to drop off beryllium. Three. Four. Um, we've, we've got four ships waiting to drop off beryllium right now. We are that bottlenecked on fueling up our ships right now. Okay. I think drastic action is needed. We should probably keep copy-pasting this design until we overdo it. We don't need any fluid inputs for this, so we can do it anywhere we like. I think we should put another one right about here. As close to... As close to these liquid rocket fuel drop-offs as possible. Uh, and we should probably do another fluid depot right next to that as well. 
There's no kill like overkill. We'll do that one. Oh. I was going to say we'll do that one here, but maybe not right now. Alright, let's head over this way. Actually, for myself... Let me just get the spiders to resupply a little bit. And we'll bring them over there. I will go back to the mall. To resupply. Let's get the spaceship builder to go back to the mall for now. Do a little dance. And then head back over here. Only fuel from vulcanite, not from oil? No, I'm doing both. Uh, we have... We have solid rocket fuel turned into liquid rocket fuel here, uh, and we have... So the solid rocket fuel can be dropped off from the oil, the, the oil blocks, and we have vulcanite turned into um, solid rocket fuel right next to it as well. That reminds me, uh, do we still need to fix this? No, we're good. Mic muted. Rip. I just noticed. Thank you. For my K2 SE playthrough, I'm using LCCL for trains. Works best for now. By Cal. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The nice thing about single cargo wagon trains is you know exactly what's in the cargo wagon um, with the circuitry. So you never have to worry about like the complicated circuits that I've got for precise loading so that the inserters don't stick out. That's actually very easy. You don't have to keep all of this perfectly in sync because you can actually tell what's in the train. You, you, can, you can read the total of what's in the train, but you can't tell what's in the individual cargo wagons. Uh, Dendria, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's continue fixing stuff, I guess. By fixing stuff, I mean spam more liquid rocket fuel. More, more, more. No, I said more. Which, I mean, rate-wise, we should be fine with it, but we just can't seem to get it where it needs to go fast enough. There's a bit more traffic here than I kind of anticipated. Um, but also it just takes it it just takes that many trains now. Maybe I shouldn't be copy pasting the same block over and over. Then again, 
the idea that we would need multiple fluid station outputs feels a bit ridiculous because watch this it literally it literally takes like one to two in-game seconds um to fill this thing up with a hundred thousand and that's with less than 50 percent normal game speed um Okay, that's a little frustrating. <laughs> we've, we've got... We just had a train pick this liquid rocket fuel up. But we've got this poor little guy... Struggling to take off. Oh, here, here comes the liquid rocket fuel. Fantastic. There we go. Pumping speed increasing. 1300 per second. 1250 per second. Okay. I'm thinking we really should have, um, it would probably be a good idea to add, is this a 7? No, it's a 9. Add some liquid rocket fuel tanks around here as well. Or at least, okay. It would be kind of a waste to use regular storage tanks, since they're just, like, one quarter as deep. Deep? I meant... dense. It was enlightening? Uh, what was enlightening? So many little products, no need for bigger trains. Not yet an expert in circuits, but designed an exploration rocket this weekend with insane circuit for me. Nice. I may or may not have been uh, finalizing the written version and script of a little tutorial. It's possible. Um, what have we got here? Oh yeah, we need the... This and this and this and this and this and this takes longer to get in and out again. Takes longer to get in and out again. Uh oh. LCCL works well for single track setups. Probably, yeah. Okay, what are we missing here? Nothing? The bots are just being a little bit weird. And... Let's bring our spiders over here. Let's use tier 3 modules... for the prods. What? Did I not just... Oh, I did. Okay, cool. And then we'll mark that as needing to be upgraded to sixes as well. I'm just going to put this icon... No, I'll put some text. More. Otherwise it would look like we're pr producing those here or something. UPS 17, yikes. That's just a dip because we're placing uh, chain, uh, we're placing signals. It gets very lurchy when we do that because every time we place a signal it pauses for a bit. Um, apparently it is repathing all of the trains every single time we place a, a signal. Which is impressively fast for what it's doing, but, you know... It's not that helpful, one might argue. Looks crazy, I'll probably never reach this level of expansion. Yeah, it it happens little by little. You wake up one day and then this is what you've got. 
how hard is your CPU struggling to run the game? Uh, I don't think it's struggling that hard at all. We're actually bottlenecked on RAM. Or is it just Factorio that's struggling? Has he completed SE? I have not completed SE. This is my first time playing through SE. Uh, Daniel, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Makes sense. Placing signals. Yeah, I can... Oh, we've got some up here that I haven't that we haven't placed yet, so I can demonstrate that very easily right now. Watch what happens... Uh, I'm... Prefer watch something that's in motion just as the signals get placed. See that? So obviously the UPS dips a lot, but it's not quite representative of uh, what we get consistently at this stage. Oof, indeed. Okay. Um, let's set this back to ask for tier 6s. For when we have them. If that doesn't, uh, like, unless we now bottleneck on rocket fuel or something, um, if that doesn't get us to the point where we're able to get our liquid rocket fuel into our spaceships fast enough, I don't know what will. Um, I seriously might have to redesign this so that we're going... Tank, pump, undergrounds, tank. Uh, I guess we could fit that relatively easily. We could put one here. If I just put one here and here, that'd be pretty consistent as well. Maybe a pair of them like this. If you start with train tracks right... It's hard to lock stuff up, I've found. As in, like, traffic jams? It's amazing that your trains are not jamming up more often. Done a super job on signals in this super tight train build. Thank you. Yeah, I'm actually extremely happy with the design of this uh, rail block. Uh, so basically, we have left-hand drive on the straight rail. But the roundabouts, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise. So whenever we want a input or output train station, we can just connect a bit of rail to the roundabout. Uh, and it takes very little space to, to have our train station. How much RAM you got? Uh, is it 32... It's not the amount of RAM, it's the speed that's the problem. We had the same amount of RAM before, and I changed it uh, to something that's... We're now bottlenecking on the motherboard. The motherboard can't go as... The motherboard can't use the RAM to its full potential. Um, CPU Z... <clears throat> it's something like 2933, I think, the RAM is clocked at. memory 16 gig yep i wouldn't want to go lower than that these days especially with how ridiculously thirsty some programs are gotta get that high speed ddr5 ram next slow with quotation marks yeah gotta crowdsource a beast of a pc uh, I would have to humbly accept. Okay, so... So where are we? Hopefully... 
we're still not fueling this fast enough. It's frustrating how much liquid rocket fuel is here, but how long it's taking to pump it into here. But if we can just build this up faster, it'll pump in here faster as well. Didn't know that ram speed was the bottleneck for med uh, for mega bases. Yeah, I didn't know that either until relatively recently. Although uh, I wasn't that interested in building mega bases, they just sort of happened. I didn't like plan to build bases big enough to uh, tax the UPS. The bases just grew. I, where are the ships jumping to? Uh, the little small ones and the, uh, these ones here don't move very often, but they're also doing the same thing. Um, the little shuttles are jumping to Nalvis orbit. Uh, currently this one is waiting for its turn to drop off material testing packs, which is great. Um, so we've well and truly caught up on them. Uh, but yeah, the the shuttles drop off at places like this. Um, the main problem is it takes a stupid amount of liquid rocket fuel to take off from Nalvis. Just under 200,000, as a matter of fact. Uh, it does give us uh, 30, 16 chests full of stuff when we do that, but still. Sektion, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so how's our copper looking? That's good. I think it just started. Yeah. This one is ranking it. Fantastic. So our bottleneck ship shifted from testing packs to copper plate. For what we're suddenly consuming way too much of. But because blank data cards. Blank data cards are the most thirsty thing consistently across all of the space science. It's crazy. How many blank data cards have we produced, like, overall? Blank data card. That is... That is on a scale I was not prepared for. 15 million blank data cards. Uh, okay, in the last hour we've made 53,000. Uh, in the last 10 hours we've made 1.2 million blank data cards. That's, that's a lot. Would ship taking twice the cargo use twice the fuel? Uh, basically. I th you know, I could probably squeeze in one more. I think I can squeeze in one more container on these ships. Maybe I should give in to the asymmetry. Because the liquid rocket fuel... Oh, wait. I think... No, I think we tested this. Uh, I could try it, though. Let's see. Launch energy, 363 gigajoules, which is very nearly... Both of these are full. And if we build one more chest... Do we not have it? Uh, where's our spider? Let's get our spaceship building spider over here. Actually, whatever this is going to be, we can build the ships ahead of time. Uh, spaceship, brick shuttle. Okay, so there's two there's two limitations that work off the same maximum number uh, when you're building these spaceships: uh, hull stress and container stress. If you build the ship too big, the hull stress is too much for your current research. Uh, but also, if you fill it with chests, the container stress is going to be too high. Uh, so currently we're at 434 out of 500. 
but it takes very nearly all of our liquid rocket fuel to take off. 363 gigajoules. Uh, if we add a chest, it goes up to 383, even though our container stress is still okay. Uh, one more chest, and we could we could actually fit two more chests theoretically, but I think we would need another liquid rocket fuel tank, um, which itself would add more container stress, which would probably put it over the line. Um, but yeah, let's see, what was it, 383? 383 gigajoules. Uh, let's find one of these that are full of liquid rocket fuel. It takes... We're at 310. Wait, what? Am I reading that backwards? 310 store... Liquid rocket fuel stored in booster tanks. Huh? Okay, 399. Which means I think we can add one more. Let's do that. Um... Well, let, let's actually use this one as a test to make sure we can get away with it. Embrace the asymmetry. I've been told... I've been an Intel guy for years, and for an upgrade later this year was naturally going to get the top-end 12900KS. But after realizing that all I play is Factorio, the top AMD has 96 meg of L3K, which is massive for repetitive gaming tasks. As such, it is. it has a massive UPS boost and pretty much determined my next upgrade. When Factorio determines your next upgrade. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, uh, I want to... Okay, this is actually really good timing. Probably the next delivery of processing units is going to cause this thing to launch. So let's add... one chest to each of these. And we've got 399 gigajoules out of 383. Is it going to be any more fuel efficient? We're going from uh, 16 to 17 chests. And let's go 383 divided by 16. 23.94. 399 divided by 17. It's not going to be exact because we can't tell like the last three digits here, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Yeah. It's going to be the same or basically the same in terms of how much fuel it costs us to move how much stuff. So there's really no point going to the trouble of patching them. Sweet, not bad. Uh, I think I might have changed my bots or something. Factorio updates per second. Oh, wow. That is a difference. Indeed. Well, I'm kind of glad to find out that uh, there's no reason to patch all of these shuttles that we've built. More than a little glad, actually. I should definitely prod 6 this as a high priority. Um, did we get any blue circuits up here yet? Yeah, we did. How many prod 6s have we made lately? Uh, 
32 in the last 10 minutes. Okay, cool. We'll give it a little time and I'll make a sh trip in the shuttle. Holmium is still not flowing, even though we should have lots of it. Okay, uh... How much liquid rocket... Oh, I need to go to fluids. Liquid rocket fuel. Production is more than consumption, at least over the last 10 minutes, and more over the last hour, and more over the last 10 hours, although the number's getting smaller, but still. Even over the last 50 hours, there's like significantly more production of liquid rocket fuel than consumption. Um, I don't know how that trend continued for that long. But, production-wise, we should be keeping up with liquid rocket fuel demand very easily at this point. It might just be that we're waiting to catch up. Um, after increasing production, I think that's quite likely, actually. But I still think it would be worth making another block. Where do I want to put it? As close to the fuel as possible. Let's move all of these pesky accumulators. We can put those somewhere else. Yeah, this is this is more important to have to have these two close together. Um, let's bring our construction spiders up here. And space exploration, space truck. Space truck drop-off is going to go about here. We need to make more room for the roundabout. And just because of the shape of the piping and stuff, um, the ships that we need to refuel more often, we should probably put to the south. Maybe I should have made a build that's like super symmetrical on both sides. I never anticipated that just pumping the fuel would be this much of a bottleneck. Okay, so we're going... I wonder what little... wait, what? I wonder what little updates I want to make to this, uh, since I made this blueprint. There's more roboports, but that's not that big of a deal. We're making weapon delivery cannons? Hmm. I should probably copy-paste all of this, to be honest. Everything I can without copying settings from specific stations. Which means changing some of these pipes. Anything else? It's kind of hard to see with this extreme darkness that we have these days. Okay. So I'm just going to configure this one now to be a uh, Holmium. So 
I'll copy paste this part to here. Oh, we also need uh, these inserters. Well, I think it's only the one at the, the ones at the top up here. But we need them to only activate if there's a train here, so that they don't put stuff into the short train. I need that pipe, whatever it is. And probably the same thing here as well. Yeah. Alright, let's copy-paste that across. And that connects to logistic train stop output. It's the same as uh, read stopped train, sort of. Uh, if there's any signal coming from the logistic train stop output, we know that there is a train stopped at that station. Uria transforms. Got a mod list, indeed. Okay, so... I've already copied that part. This can go here. Uh, and we need to... Oh, I definitely want to include the updated circuit logic. Can't... Hmm. There's no way to... Okay, let's just not select those cr clamps. I nearly said cramps. And this one... I'll just have to do them two at a time. Or top half first. Yeah, no, I'll have to do one at a time here. Um, this goes here. And I think this goes here as well, actually. Bottom half is probably shaped a little bit different. That's weird looking. This goes here. Make sure that's connected properly. Looks like it is. And last but not least is this one. Bit snugly in there. So these are just the do not take off if you're at your destination, or if our fuel isn't refilled uh, signals. We do need to request bots, or do we have them here already? Yeah, they, they should be getting delivered. Okay, let's copy the clamp number. 2001. In case we want to double check that. 2001, fantastic. And just to make us make it absolutely clear that we did get that right, we immediately get a load of Holmanite here. Okay, so we're just waiting on bots to be delivered uh, to this block. We could also use some more liquid rocket fuel. Uh, and we could also, also, use this part being completed. That would be very helpful. I'm seeing a lack of pumps over here. I think... Oh, what is this? I think I missed copy-pasting some stuff. 
Uh, yeah, I thought we had more pumps. Kind of. A little bit. goes here and here and here and here maybe I should have taken the opportunity to update this a bit two hundred and fourteen per second. Not a whole lot. I th yeah, I think I should... Okay. So, we could move this over two tiles. Or three, even. I don't like having this so close to where the spaceship lands. Um, kind of aesthetically, but... Uh, a little bit more important to actually get this to work very well. We're going to put some spaceship floor uh, right about here so that we can put a fuel tank right about here. And same thing on the other side. So it's... Uh, here, I think. What the? Let's just copy, not paste, but we'll copy this so that we can see how that lines up. Fantastic. Should be the same thing over here. Oops. Spaceship floor. Right about here. And our space truck uh, should fit here still. That should be fine. I think I'll patch the existing blocks with this as well. Although I don't know, I don't know exactly how much difference this is going to make overall, but at the very least, uh, if we've already got enough fuel there to start with, uh, it might make it significantly faster, or a lot faster. Okay. And I don't know... I don't know how we're going to fit the same sort of thing up here, though. Uh, turn you around for the moment so that I can... delete this. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna need to... 
I need to pump this ion away if I don't want to waste it. Oh, is it all just one big pipe section? Yeah, ion is a lot easier to pump in sufficiently quickly uh, than liquid rocket fuel. So I just turn this around. That's all it took. Alright, so as long as there's room for that iron to go somewhere else, we won't waste any of it. What I want to do here is... Uh, where exactly do I want to put this? Right about here. So there should just be enough room if I do it like this. Yeah, that should be okay. And this one would go here. That's a surprisingly good fit. Oh, and uh, let's fix this one up before we before we turn all those things around. I would have thought this was extreme overkill if this is how I was building it initially. But yeah, that just barely fits together pretty well. Okay. Uh, I need to turn this around. I need to turn this around. We already did the southern side, didn't we? That was a lot easier to patch. Down, down, up, up. There we go. We still have no bots here? What's happening? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Look, good thing I'm on the planet personally, um, or this would have been a little bit of a pain to fix, but we've actually requested enough stuff here and the bots don't get prioritized, um, that we ended up filling this chest completely, uh, there is room for the bots because they go here automatically, so they go straight into the, uh, uh, robo network, but if I send this train away, who's to say we won't be requesting something other than bots next time? Yeah, so when I initially built this, we didn't have so many things that we were requesting. Um, so we got the bots delivered there first. That looks kind of weird. Oh, is that what I think it is? That is Holmium Powder. I guess I shouldn't be shocked by that, since we brought down another spaceship full of Holmium... Wait, we didn't get in... We didn't get th this into the network yet, though. So it was another ship here. Uh... 
Okay. Uh, let's drop off some robots. And that wasn't what I was expecting, but okay. Could, could you start... yeah, there we go. Start moving this stuff away from the... from the train, please. Okay, alright. If you insist on resupplying the spiders first, let's close the distance. And get all that done blindingly quickly. I'll send the spiders back to the mall anyway. By the way, may I have my name in blue lights, please? Uh, sure. Blue lights. Where should I put them? In space? Uh, whiskers. Can we fit a whiskers here? That's probably a bit tight, right? Let's put it up here. Construction spiders. We got a W. We got an H. Somewhere. I'm sure. We got an I. Got an S. K. K E. R. And S. Do we want the 770? Where should I put the constant combinator? Probably right here. No need for digits? Okay. And we need to connect all of these. Blue signal. Uh, I can't remove the enable disable, so we're just going to say anything greater than zero. And then... to set all of these anyway, so let's do that first. And... done. Now we just need to connect the wires. Should I connect this here? This is why I said suggested 20k for choosing color. It's fine. I was thinking of a viewer reward that's basically build me this circuit and explain it all. Um, assuming that I'm capable of building it, of course. And within reasonable limits. No, no, even if I could build a computer from scratch, uh, that might be a bit much. Fantastic. So, where are we going to put it? Like, here, perhaps? Oh, that actually fits really well. Oh, we're one tile off. Whoops. One off. And there we go. Blue whiskers. Fantastic. No worries. Okay. Uh... 
I was going to say you're full already, that's weird, but it's only the one side. Hmm. This does have a bit of a drawback, but in the long run, it's not going to make a difference. A circuit redeem? Cool. Okay, how much should I... What what should I cost it at? Like five thousand or something? Or about two thousand. It's not like I don't want to do it. The bots are still taking this oh, they're they're prioritizing the uh Olmanite. Which is okay, but like I need them to get this train out of the way. We're gonna go pick up some more bots. Six thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine. I'll think about it. What is this construction bot doing? Oh, I think the spiders may be. Wait, what? What is this construction bot doing? Uh, Trout, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I still need to patch these ones. Um, I don't know how important that is now. Like, we may well be catching up with the liquid rocket fuel situation. I think we may have been producing more than enough here. Um, but we just weren't able to distribute it faster. Okay, the fact that those are empty. Wow. Um, okay. That's not what I was expecting to see. Uh, but yeah. Um, we're making a lot more liquid rocket fuel now. Which means our throughput to space is going to be much higher. And I wonder if we've caught up... To what extent have we caught up with our demand for excessive blank data cards? Um, did I fix this? Yeah, I did. This is how close this was to working already. There's only seven... Well, let's call it ten heavy bearings contained here. Um, so this was just barely too many heavy bearings coming on this side. Blocking the output. Let's delete that. Uh, I don't suppose... We are, of course, still waiting on Comprehensive. Comprehensive is not waiting on Explosion anymore. That's nice. We're just... Wa Wait, what? Oh, we are waiting on Explosion. I just happened to click on one that still had a couple left. Okay, so we're still waiting on Explosion and Radiation Shielding. 7.7k. 7.7k. I'm a little tired of seeing that exact number. Uh... Probably the blank data cards are being spirited away somewhere else as well. 8k... Alright, we should see a train coming to pick this up quite soon. Um, I'm very tempted to... In fact, why shouldn't I? Let's bump up the priority on these temporarily. Priority 1000. Was I quick enough? I was not. The blank data card's going somewhere else. How dare you. Uh, can I cancel it? No, too late. Let's hijack it. Your mod list doesn't show any spider mods. Don't you have that? Uh, no. I don't... I think these spiders are as vanilla as they get. 
assuming space exploration doesn't make any changes to them. Uh, I can't think... I mean, of course they change the cost a little bit. Um, Alright. You're coming with me. Go to... Explosion shielding data. If I... I know I'm putting the temporary stop in front of the station, and the inserters might normally grab stuff before they're supposed to, but if you have no weight condition, it actually should just go straight through without stopping. Fantastic. Uses large teams of Spidertrons to make up for their shortcomings. Yeah, uh, so with a vanilla remote, what you can do is have a... If you point at it, it'll tell you. Uh, shift right click to reset. Uh, left click to send the Spidertron somewhere. Shift left click to cure command. Control left click gets it to follow something. And you can get a spider to follow another spider. Um, so basically all of these groups are just following one leader, which is why I've got one of them with a different color. Just so I can tell which is which. All right, how is our stuck? Again. Oh, we don't actually have a ship here. Okay, we do need more. I, I think we do need more ships going to Via Terra. How many do we have? Three already, I'm surprised. It's such a short trip, but... Well, okay, they've all been stuck here for a minute, so it's a little bit harder to tell. Um, Via Terra is completely full on core fragment output right now. And we've also got plenty of liquid rocket fuel waiting to be pumped in. Uh, how, how far out are you? Three minutes and 17-ish seconds. Okay. I think I probably should make at least one more be a terror ship. Um, and that is probably enough. Once we've resolved the fuel issue. Honestly, I should probably just be spamming cannons. Um, it worked for uh, Vitam Lange core fragments. We're just going to need a much bigger reactor on that planet to support it. But for now, I'll try just making another spaceship. Uh, Via Terra, this is already all correct, I think. I'm not too worried about fueling up, since it doesn't need to go very far. But on the other hand, we've already got, um... We've already got two ships on the way there. On the other, other hand, I don't want to have to remember this. So let's just send it now. Away you go. Fantastic. I did update just one of these ships with the different way of doing the fuel management uh, that someone suggested. So instead of just reading from an accumulator and putting fuel in when it gets low enough, uh, we actually read from an accumulator if that gets low enough, we take out a used-up uranium fuel cell. 
and we read hand contents pulse. Well, hold will do the same thing, really. Uh, we read the hand contents of the inserter. Uh, pulse wouldn't do if you were taking from a belt, but pulse is fine if you're taking from a chest. Uh, and when the inserter that puts uranium fuel cells into the reactor uh, detects a used up uranium fuel cell, it's going to put just one into the nuclear reactor. So there's only ever the one fuel cell in the reactor this way. And it'll, it'll be put in the moment that we take that one out. Oh, I forgot to name this uh, ship as well. Which Via Terra are we up to? Four? Via Terra Four. Okay, I imagine that will be more than enough. And we're still unloading this one because the bots are still... The bots have very strange priorities here. Um... Wait, this is a purple chest. I thought it would be the highest possible priority. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm delivering more bots personally. In that case. We're not starting to run out of rocket fuel. We are... Uh-oh. Uh... We should have vulcanite, though. We should have tons of vulcanite. Even if we did stop it for a minute. It's going to have to catch up. I'm giving very serious thought to not using spaceships to go to Via Terra. Uh, Rose is fine because it's got a smaller radius. It doesn't cost nearly as much liquid rocket fuel to take off. And therefore it comes back with more fuel and doesn't need to be given as much fuel to take off from Nalvis. Uh, but Via Terra... We're actually going to see it right about now, actually. Um, 11 seconds until this one arrives. Let's have a look at how much... Uh, how much liquid rocket fuel is needed to take off. We're currently at 48%. So I think it takes a bit over... I think it takes a bit over half the fuel max fuel capacity for these things to take off from Nalvis. In that case, I can definitely consider reducing the amount that we fill them up because it gets slower and slower. Um, but let's refresh this. Oh, wow. 680 gigajoules. Um, yeah, we basically need full liquid rocket fuel tanks to take off from this place. It looks like. Which means we come back to Nalvis empty, which means we're going to take uh, 400,000 from Nalvis for every trip. Um, that's a lot. I think I made a mistake using spaceships for this planet. I think I made a pretty big mistake using spaceships for this planet. I should probably use some of the abundant space that I've got over here to build. Well, I'm going to have to move the delivery cannon chest and such. But that's probably fine. We should have better throughput now, though. Did we get our blank data cards down here? What's what's your problem? We've got an empty train. 
Oh, I set it to full cargo inventory. That's my fault. Okay. Did we get our 8k? We did. We're just waiting on radiation now. Let's drop the priority off this one. We just need testing packs up here. Not testing packs. Uh, blank data cards. We've got 4.7k, 7.6k. I could and maybe should to some extent do a new build for these, but they've been bottlenecked on resources most of the time. Um, so I don't know how practical that really is. But we do have 7.8k blank data cards. Um, we're making 23.8 per second on in this block. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what I... I was going to say, you know what I could do is give it better speed modules, but we're probably bottlenecked on the belts. 142... 95 polished data per second, which we can't fit on these belts. Yeah, that's... That's as good as it gets without redesigning the whole thing. Um... But, yeah, we should be... Oh, we should actually already be at 8k. Yeah, we are. There it is. Have you upgraded junk cards to latest recipe? That's a good idea, actually. Why is this going here? Don't tell me this one has priority 1,000. And I forgot about it. That would be bad. Uh, it has priority 10k. Alright, okay, I see how it is. Um, let's hijack this one. As soon as it has its 8k chips, uh, sorry, blank data cards. Bring it down here. And over here. Empty, not full. Cargo inventory. And then I'm gonna... I'm gonna get rid of the super high priority on this one. Because that should very easily... Yeah, it's one to one. Ignoring everything else, that's enough for 8,000 radiation shielding data. Um... So this will this will give us our uh, comprehensive catalogs. Which will give us our science. I kind of do want to set these as super high priorities, actually. Um... Yeah, why not? Well, not super, super high, but like priority 10 or something. I mean, if we don't have this, the inputs for science, what's the point? I know all of those other things are input, inputs for science as well, but you know what I mean. The insane amount of junk card make a huge difference when you go from 70% to 90%. Indeed. Uh, where even is my junk data? Here it is. It's another pre-wide uh, area beacon build. But... I don't think we even need to speed it up. At least not yet. Oh, we've got some junk data cards incoming as well. So let's, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Let's upgrade those as quick as we can. And I'll get, get rid of the recipe on this one.
So let's have a look at the difference here. Um, 70% blank data card, 28.99 broken data card. And occasionally we get nothing, I guess. Always get the thermo fluid back though. That's a lot of ships clapping in and out. Um, copper go burn. Oh, we gotta hurry if we're gonna get our value here. Okay. 80%. So that is uh, one third less data cards lost forever when they come out as junk data cards. How many junk data cards have we been making lately? In the last hour, 987 per minute, or in the last five seconds, 5,000 per minute. Okay, so if we... So whenever we make 5,000 junk data cards, um, times 0.7, we get 3,500 back, but now we get 4,000 back. At our current rate of consumption, that's like 500 blank data cards per minute for free, is effectively what just happened there. Oh, we need a different color of thermo... Oh, no. Oh, no. We need a different temperature of thermo fluid all of, all of a sudden. Uh... I bet the next next one is... Oh, can I, re can I search for recycling? What's the recipe called? Efficient formatting. Okay, formatting. Why... Why is FNEI like this? Do we have to search for it capital? Capitalized? No, it's not there. Okay. Uh, I guess the recipe name doesn't count. But anyway, apparently we're going to have to change the temperature of thermofluid every time, which is uh, fun. And we... I'm very tempted to just delete this. It's only 37,000. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta start thinking about things in terms of how much time it costs. Uh, as opposed... Why is this separate? Oh, that's the 25 degree. That's fine. Um, okay, so before the train comes... We're now looking for negative 100 degree thermofluid. Use recipe book, better FNEI. I'll give that some thought. Only this time, next is same fluid. Oh, that's good. All right. Uh, hopefully we get a train bringing the old... Well, I guess it doesn't matter really how quickly. As long as this thing can keep up. Uh, 43.2 blank data cards per second. Uh, junk data cards. We're currently at 1.7k per minute. Yeah, so this thing will catch up, even without any, uh, you know what, I may as well, while we're here, throw some speed modules in, some faster ones that is. So I won't have to think about that for a while. And it's all the same outputs, right? We get blank or broken. Yeah. That's fine. 
What's this? Why is this bot confused so? I think it's got no space left in its master. I know that feeling. I have two times Omni smelters I want to replace with better designs, but there's 1.5 million items there. I could have ignored them, or I should have nuked it. <laughs> but I spent hours helping bots hand move items to other storage. What a waste. Yeah, especially if you've got infinite resources, uh, like if you're getting most of your stuff from core mining, you should definitely be more comfortable solving a problem by just deleting fluids, for example. Um, I think the mindset of conserving all resources is good to start with. Uh, but then when you get to like this point in a video game, it's not like this is real stuff you have to conserve or something. better to give higher priority to saving time. Wow, that's a lot of blank data cards. Uh, are we bottlenecking on the output belt? We are. We are very bottlenecking on the output belt. Uh, and a little bit on the input belt. Okay. Well, that's easily remedied. Um... Let's bring the construction spiders back. Actually, let's do this until they get there. Turn that around for a sec, because I want to put this here. And once this empties... Then I can move this bit. Uh, that's definitely too close to bother with an underground. Did I... Yeah, okay, cool. That goes there. And once the spiders arrive... Uh, that should all be good. Let's send them back to the mall again after that. Okay. How's our ship looking here? The right side is getting filled a lot quicker than the left side, but we've reached the saturation point. I could add circuitry to, like, compare how much is in these two tanks and control this pump. But I don't know how necessary that really is. What happened here? I think we got overfilled on water. Is this not connected? It is. 24,500. It's reading from the tank. 24... Oh, I forgot I was going to drop off these bots as well. Uh, 24,999... This is limited to 24,500. So how on earth did we get water saturated everywhere? Don't you have Science 3 now? You should research, be researchable next level chunk card handling. But neural computers are a bitch to make. Uh, we've, we've done everything to get, uh, Material 3 is the last Tier 3 that we don't have yet. Uh, everything is in place. We will eventually get it. It's finally happening. 
uh, we're getting our tier 3 comprehensive material catalogs right now. Once that reaches almost a train load, um, a train is going to come. I, I set the provide threshold on this a little bit lower because there's an exact one-to-one -one of data cards to catalogs here. And w unless we do a sushi belt, we always end up with, just because of the shape of the belts, like four items that don't get made. Um, but yeah, we've finally got our comprehensive catalog coming in. And I've made sure that the first place that goes is up here. As soon as that arrives on this half belt right here, we're going to start making some Material Science Pack 3. And so where is the data card recycling? Data card? Oh, that's a lot. That That's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I haven't actually seen it anywhere. What is it called? Cycle? No. Uh, data card? No. Junk? No. Does it unlock here somewhere? Let's see. Ooh, superconductive cable, plasma canister, ion canister. It contains a thousand ion stream. What does it stack to? 50? Wait, what? Did I read that right? Item stack size 50, ion canister. Products at so a thousand ion stream goes in. Possibly a thousand ion stream comes out, and it stacks to fifty. That is so dense. That is unbelievably dense. Empty ion canister, a thousand ion stream, and you get the magnetic canister back. So it's literally just barrels for this stuff, but it's ridiculously dense. Wow. Uh, Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Holy energy density, Batman. Um, one superconductive cable, one secure canister, one battery. That seems cheap. It is cheap. And like barrels, once you've got enough in circulation, you stop producing them. Uh, I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, it was the junk data card? Like upgrade recipes? Oh, here we go. Supercomputer 3 gives you advanced data formatting. It puts it up to 90%. That is significant. And it does use the super cold thermo fluid. So we have to change the fluid again. I think next time I'll make a new build. Uh, where's the tier 4 computer? Do we get yet another junk data card formatting? Or I guess I can consult FNEI junk. Except we've got like 68 recipes to look through. Uh, no, we need to look for broken. That's going to be the way to go. Broken data card. And... Data formatting, efficient data formatting. Uh, what happened to the next one? Deep Space Science Pack 1, 2, 3, 4. Advanced data formatting, 90% to 9. Data formatting, deep data formatting. Supercomputer 4, 95%. That's pretty good. I was in the next room. Sounds like someone's mind was slash blown. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. 
I think I'd just briefly heard of those canisters. I don't know what I was expecting in terms of density, but it wasn't a thousand and stacking to fifty. Fifty thousand in one stack. So you're telling me uh one, two, three, four, five of these fits in one stack in a chest. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Alright. What was the other fluid? I think it was plasma. Um tier three yeah. Here we go. Plasma canister. Uh, I don't know where I would be excited about a super dense storage of plasma. Um, I guess we could put them in trains, uh, but I don't really see the need. Um, fluid wagons are super fast already. Time to rework all the spaceships? I don't know about that one. I wouldn't exactly rework these ones, I would build a, like, a new, bigger design. Um, but, yeah. How are we doing here? Why haven't you taken off? Because you're still getting liquid rocket fuel? I fear... We've crashed our rocket fuel economy. Um, yeah. Okay. I think... Are we actually out of Vulcanite now? We are making it very fast, but... And we're consistently making it very fast. Oh, we stopped for a little while. Oh, that was when I broke it still, I think. Um, in the last 10 minutes, we're consuming all of it, it looks like. In the last one minute, we consumed more than we produced. Hmm. It happens in waves, though. Do I need... Do I need another block like this? Are we still... Are we still trashing Vulcanite? We're not. The fact that that's gone to, down to 48k means we've been removing it from here. Uh, which actually means we're slowly running out of Vulcanite in storage. Okay. The writing's on the wall. We need to stop using ships for Via... Was it Via Terra? Yeah. Via Terra is the one big planet uh, in our solar system that we're using ships for. Uh, we need to change that back to using cannons. And we're gonna... We might or might not need a bigger nuclear reactor uh, to support all of those cannons because they do use a lot of power. Technically, I could probably sort this out remotely. Uh, how many cannons? We've got 28 cannons in storage. But I think I'd prefer to just head over there. Um, and I want to do a big clean build for the cannon stuff down here somewhere, I think. Good morning, Elite Geek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Time to get the coal liquefaction rolling again. Uh, let's check. We have 3.8k coal, so no. 
if something's at a hundred thousand here, it means we're overproducing it and we have to get rid of it in order to continue coal mining. Uh, if it's less than that, then not so much. Yeah, there's no coal in storage. In fact, we had to go to a new planet. I should check on Deadwood. Um, where are you? Await uh, waiting at Deadwood. Okay, is anything broken here? I think something's broken here. It's completely full on liquid rocket fuel. Where did its nuclear fuel go? Oh no. How long have you... Oh no. Um, okay, I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to get the bots to bring some of that nuclear fuel back. Let's do a deconstruction planner. Request a chest. We don't seem to be consuming any of this right now. And I should probably... I should probably not be requesting a stack in each of those chests, considering the way that we resupply them. Um, oh, we don't have many construction bots, so they're going to take a minute to do that. We have 148. That's not too bad. Still, I don't know why this one isn't taking off, even if the... Even if it did run out of power. It it ran out of uranium fuel uranium fuel cells because um it didn't take off. I think. Or just that it was only carrying so many and the local place took them all. Um so we've got Do I just have to manually launch this? Is that all it is? It should be on autopilot. Let's see. No, we've got 47,000... Wait, why is this? What? Seriously? Why do we have 40... 4,799 core fragments in this chest? And there's core fragments available... And there's logistic bots. And that's why we're not taking off? And why hasn't this happened before? Uh, okay. Greater than or equal to... 4,007... Uh, 47,999... But stack size? I know, but this has never happened before. Um, they just... Oh, is that... Yeah, no, it's trying to take off now. Okay. Um, let's put those requester chests back. Except... I'm going to only request, like, one... I don't know, how much should I request? Requesting a stack each has worked fine before. Especially since we... Uh, we dropped off a whole bunch of them to get started previously. Um... And this thing carries significantly more nuclear fuel than it needs. 
and we've got them coming and going all the time. But I want to keep the request size a little bit lower this time, just to make sure we don't take all of the fuel from the spaceship. It would be great if I could have them use different types of fuel. But there's nothing but nuclear for space right now. It's showing unavailable when you look at that 99 star. Uh, unavailable. As in, this wasn't yellow, it was red. Logistic storage zero, is that what you meant by unavailable? That's very strange. I want to watch what happens with this one. Uh, what are we at? 21k? 4.8k in red when you moused over the 99 stack. Yeah, it was red. Except we had these chests full of whole core fragments. Why would it do that? I want to go check on other outposts just because of that. What are you waiting for? Dropping on Nalvis? Morpheus 4. Why does it show... Okay, we're fine. Well, we can see this is in motion. Um, Pancras? Orchard? We can see Orchard is still in motion. Uh, where is it? Calamity... Vobus? No, not Vobus. Uh, Varus. We can see this is still in motion. Okay. Oh, and... I was gonna say there's one more place, but we just looked at that. Uh, Deadwood is up here. Alright, 36k. 37k. 38k. We still have fuel here, right? Yep. Oh, and I'll check that I got fuel all of these. Seems good. Okay. So this is looking for exactly 48,000. Uh whole core fragments. It is the exact same ship that we had before. 48k? Considering how long it takes to take off... Uh, was that because it needed fuel? How much fuel does it need? No, it's already got enough to take off. Okay, so considering those seconds that it takes to take off because it does an integrity check, uh, I could probably just change all of these to have, like, greater than or equal to 47,980 or something. I've got an awful lot of ships I would have to patch with that number, though, at this point. And it's very weird that it took this long for a ship exactly designed this way to run into that problem. I'm very curious to explore what's going on with the robot network if that happens again. How many... Uh, catalogs do we have? 3.4k. 
I feel like this deserves a speed upgrade. Let's do it. Tier... whoops. Tier 6 modules. Uh, computers. Oh, and we could give it better computers as well. Um, if we really want to. And I kind of do. Let's, let's upgrade these first. You would know a mod called MSI? Mining Space Industry? I do not. What does it do? After all of that being stuck on uh, resources, I'm surprised how long this part takes. But it's fine, we're getting there. What else do I need to do on Nalvis? Um, apart from reduce our demand for rocket fuel, which is not what I need to do on Nalvis. Nothing, I think. Let's get in our shuttle. Many, many missions to complete and lock Tech Force. You go out to fight biters. Interesting. Holmanite is flowing. That is a very good thing to see. Um, this thing's never in motion. <laughs> Never, ever. Uh, let's get our spider in our pocket. Go to Nalvis Orbit, where I'm going to catch a ride with the outposter. Looks like a scenario mod. Hold on. Actually, I've got lots of drills and cannons with me. If I don't mind, if I don't mind a short wait to get there, I can just take the uh, shuttle, I think. No, that's right, I was going to take the outposter because I might build a bigger nuclear plant here. Well, I'm a little bit surprised that... Uh, We've ended up going back to cannons. Um, but considering the size of the planet and just how much liquid rocket fuel it makes us need, I guess it's not that surprising. MSI 2 is on my next playlist, but gonna be a long time for SE to be done. Oh yes. Uh, especially when what hing, watching others play than working on my own build. <laughs> Indeed. You gotta see you gotta see the ways other people do things though. That's one of the beautiful things about Factorio, you see all these different solutions to the same problems and they're all valid. I mean the ones that work. You know what I mean. MSI is compatible with SE, I am playing it. Interesting. Yeah, I have to say, the scale of liquid rocket fuel we ended up needing um, is so far beyond what I could have guessed. In the last hour, we've produced 387,000 uh, liquid rocket fuel. That's kind of less than I expected, to be honest. 
uh, and consumed about the same amount. Oh, per minute. Oh, yeah. What? Wow. Okay. 387,000 per minute. That makes a lot more sense. Um... Two hundred per two hundred thousand per minute at the moment, and it's been higher than that at peak. Okay, let's get our. I don't need trains right now. Update that, please. And let's head over to the outposter. We're going to the Atera. And we're going to spam cannons just like we did on Pentium uh, until. until the shortage of Holmium stops. That is a lovely, lovely reactor. Even if, under certain circumstances, the heat doesn't get to the edge. Which makes me a little sad. Although currently it's sort of idling. I mean, of course it is. Everything's stopped because we've actually saturated uh, vulcanite everywhere. Wait. How? Why? What are you doing here? Oh, this is still broken? Uh, Go back to the depot, please. I think there was something here where, like, I forgot to connect the wires. Um... And it seems to have left an awful lot of trains confused. There's kind of a disaster dominoes here. Okay, but why are we not... Yeah, that. that that's what I was going to say, why are we not... Why are we not collecting the side outputs from the Viaterra... Uh, from the Vitamelange core fragment processing. Wait, are we not... We're not consuming core fragments fast enough? Vanilla ones? No, that's not right. This is empty. So why? Let's bump this up to two trains. What about the stone? We just... Okay, it feels very weird. I remember... I remember shortages of stone. Now it feels really weird to see it completely saturated everywhere. Um, but I might have to... Encoded network ID 1. And this one has no encoded network ID, I think. So this can go there. So why did- how did this get full? How did it get full? What? Did we have too many trains or- Wait, was it literally just traffic here because those ones were stopped? I think that might be it. Oh wow, the Vidamelange here isn't actually full either, that's- And that's terrible. Um, I think, I think our cannons will be firing again quite soon. Whoop, whoop, no, 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 don't, don't, don't change the target on that one, please. Okay. Okay. And away they go. I probably should have investigated this a bit more thoroughly and not taken it for granted that we completely completely saturated 
Vitamelange so quickly. Uh, are we underway? We're not. What happened here? I left this switched on. That's my bad. Let's go to Via Terra again. Fantastic. Okay. So how much... I never did get a very good feel for... Um, just how much... It's going to be different on a different planet, because it's going to take a different amount of energy to fire the cannons. How many cannons we need to keep up with how much... Um, how many core fragments. Is the outposter your PAX, or do you have your own luxury yacht? <laughs> yeah, the outpost is basically my PAX. Um... If you like. It's got everything I need for making a new outpost. Um, we got solar panels, ore mining drills, lots of landfill, stuff for nuclear, uh, belts, nuclear, media defense, landfill, loads of uranium, uh, fuel, and miscellaneous. I was going to say, don't tell me I forgot to bring delivery cannon chests, but I have them right here. Oh. I don't think there's delivery cannons in this thing, but I do have 20 on me, and... Uh, I think we said there were... 28 here. So that's 48 cannons. I think that'll probably... be enough for our purposes. Although we are looking at... Um, 138 core fragments per second so far, and I'm pretty sure we have room for more even without making another reactor. Um, the thing is, with the size of the planet, we're gonna it's gonna take a decent amount of energy to fire the cannons, so we're probably gonna need a bigger reactor, like just because of that. Even if we keep the same core miners. Also, we want to play catch-up with the Holmium throughput that we haven't been... What? Uh... Core Fragment Holmanite. Put Core Fragment... I guess I never updated that little mistake in this blueprint. Okay, that's fine. It's not like I needed to know how much our actual throughput of Holmanite core fragments is right now. That's not the resource we've been bottlenecked on. Nope. It's fine. This is fine. Outposter is... I won't say halfway there. But we are still accelerating. How's our science looking? We have to be getting close, right? 6,000? Why do our spiders not have... Oh. Okay. Let's update this. I want nothing but speed for the moment, and computers, uh, tier 2 computers get speed also. Faster, faster. This one stopped. We're actually... what? No. No, we can't be out of super cool. What? This... this cannot be. This is full right here. Okay. Oh, you're kidding. You're joking. You must 
be having a fucking giggle. Uh, two of the new fluid cooling blocks didn't have the wire connected to report negative 273 degree thermo fluid to LTN. You what, mate? <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah, that's that. That's probably going to help with the whole thermo fluid supply. Um, interesting that this is the first moment we actually discovered that there was any kind of so-called shortage. Having a giggle. Ah, uh, take care, whiskers. Have a good one. We should already have a train coming to deliver this. Unless there was something else that needed thermo... I don't see... Wake up, LTN. Come on. Provide threshold 100k. Oh, I see what happened here. This is one of those... Wire connections were not preserved with a copy-paste issues. Okay, let's inspect these ones as well. That one's fine. That one's not. Yeah, sometimes when you copy-paste uh, LTN stations, it doesn't keep the wire connections. You gotta watch out for that. It does always work with blueprints. If it didn't... Oof, I don't know. I don't know if I could tolerate that. To be on what that doesn't go there. There we go. Okay, whoops. There we go. Train incoming, and its destination is somewhere else. But I'm sure it won't take long. Um, boy, it's just one thing after another, isn't it? We're not supposed to get these material catalogs. 6.3k. Fantastic. We've got like one machine still going here. Uh, let's send the spiders back. And I forgot to send the scaffolders back as well. I can't remember what I wanted to build here. Oh, it was probably... Probably thinking about having yet another drop-off for testing packs. Except it was really just we need more ships to bring the testing packs. And or to refuel them faster. We could end up having another testing pack drop off somewhere else just because... Just to keep the train trip shorter. Um, but it's calmed down for now because we're bottlenecking on something else and or... We've saturated everything. Still not getting our thermo fluid. Where be the thermo fluid? Oh no. Oh no, the oh, okay. So the ten to the negative ten to negative a hundred is bottlenecking on outputting the twenty-five degree thermo fluid. The twenty-five degree thermo fluid here is backed up which one would expect with the shape of the pumps. Uh, hmm. I did not think of that. This one seems fun. Okay, what? Is this one busted? Did I miss a couple of pipes? No, it's supposed to go up. Oh, yes and no, it's supposed to go up there. Okay, alright, I think that deserves... I think that deserves one of these. But, there, but I did see one that was, uh... Not completely blocked off, but it was slow. Because of... Yeah, this one, for example. Products finished. 5,343. So it's definitely valid, the way it's connected. 
Um, but it just can't output the 25 degree thermo fluid fast enough. Hmm. I wonder if I shouldn't have this pump. Oh, why is this so full? Holy... Wow. Uh, okay. Why is this one way more full than this one? It doesn't have a different priority or something, does it? It doesn't. That is... That is strange to me. It's also alarming just how full all of our 25 degree thermos uh, storage is. I think we should patch these. Let's get our spiders down this way. Don't forget to fix this part. So I guess more storage couldn't help, but you'd think this would be a lot of storage already. Um, then again, maybe not. If we're, if we're only picking it up when there's 100k, I guess this isn't that surprising. Considering the number of stations we've got that output 25 degree thermo fluid. I think this pump, these two pumps right here are just not helping. Because they're going to keep this area full while this one... How fast can we consume it? 2.25k. But that's going to include the output from these ones. I think I think we should try getting rid of the uh, pumps here. And I think it could not hurt to add some more storage. then these ones have to be weird. Should probably put that there. This fit elegantly? No. Okay. How many tiles is this? One, two, three, four? The worst number? So that'll allow these to go full speed. That seems okay. Let's patch the next two in the same manner. And copy paste. should help somewhat. I was going to say I wonder if I should set the request a bit lower or something, but that's not going to help. We just need to have more thermofluid storage. Um, I think I should even set it... Uh, I don't know... Thermofluid, 25 degree... Does it count the output thermofluid here? I bet it does. Well, in the last five seconds we've made 260,000, and considering that the three machines that we use to primarily make 25 degree thermofluid, like from, I won't say from nothing, but not from thermofluid, uh, considering those aren't active, 
I guess it does look at the stats that way. So there's no way of knowing how much we've been making from these machines, but I suspect it hasn't been... I suspect it's been zero for a long time, but I want to make sure we don't produce any more from here. I don't think we need to. Okay, so that one's working. That one's working. And that one's working. Fantastic. That should get us our thermofluid back quite soon. What are you doing? Wait, what? What is... There's not supposed to be a station here. I... Okay. I made one mistake and then compounded it with a different mistake. No station here. No station here. No station here. What are the what are the trains going to do? They're going to That's not going to work. Um Where did the other one go? I don't catch them all slipping away, we're going to end up with a very confused train sitting somewhere for a very long time until I find it. We're still waiting on Thermo here. Oh, it's coming. This is it. This is the final delivery, I think, before we get our load of... Uh, about 8,000 catalogs. Here we go. Fantastic. So we've got like 1,700 to go. And we're looking at 19 per second. Uh, less than two minutes. So we should see our heavy composite research starting in about five minutes or so real time. Let's anchor on via Terra. Uh, where do I want to land? Probably between these areas. That's gonna land on a cliff. Uh, what the hell? Squish that cliff. Okay. I want to borrow from Pentium for our layout here. I don't believe I've copied, uh, blueprinted this design yet. So let's do that. And where am I going to put it? I can fit this just about anywhere, to be honest. It's really more of a question of where I want to put the... Actually, up here is looking pretty good. I think we have enough space to do everything I want here. Uh, let's go find out. Okay, so if we look to Pentium and copy-paste our layout of cannons. Yeah, we've got tons of space here. I'll even leave plenty of room to uh, expand it. So maybe somewhere like this. Could probably 
even copy this part into the exact same spot. Or very, very similar. Let's go something like this. I need to make sure as soon as we put that transmitter down though... Oh, we don't have it yet. Uh, I will copy that. What do we... Oh, landfill. Okay. Landfill... Am I really not carrying it? Uh-oh. Uh, I'm sure the construction spiders have it. Via Terra... Constructed from? Over here, please. And let's do a little landfilling. We need to change the recipes on these to Holmium Core Fragments. Uh, right side... Is this Holmium? Yeah, it is Holmonite. There we go. I've lost my little crosshair. Right side is here. That's going to be on the green wire. Let me just double check that again. Green wire equals right side. Okay, cool. And left side is over here. I need to get the rest of the cannons. Thank you, spiders. Uh, let's put this here and immediately change this to something else. Uh, what was this called? Oh, it didn't update the... Okay. Canium DC chest. I just want to keep this naming convention specific. V Whoa, okay. Via Terra DC chest. Uh, I guess it's long as long as it's not powered, we don't have a problem. Uh, I do want to move... Where am I going? Via Terra... Is this connected to Theater DC chest? It is. I think I'll just take this opportunity to um, remove this one, actually. Am I going to move it down here? So let's go with... We've got 10 machines here. We ended up using... 11 or 12 to keep up with the, ex with the explosives for Penium. So I want to make sure that I use one where we can maybe add a couple extra if we need to. So I'll, I'll, I'll use this one up here. Uh, a Via Terra DC chest is what we're looking for. There it is. Uh, and we need to start setting these targets. We should definitely... Well, I've got it in the copy-paste anyway already. Um, we should definitely... use our... Iridium plate recipes to make the cannon shells. We need a splitter here. Need a recycling machine, which I can always handcraft. And the thing I always forget, we need a single centrifuge. Uh, to deal with the used uranium fuel cells, since we're not going to have um, ships taking it away anymore. 
We have one here. I'll steal that. Um, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this. And... I think we'll get rid of all of these, to be honest. It's a pity about wasting a little sulfuric acid, but at this point in the game, not wise to worry about it. I guess I could have used that recycling plant as well. Let's extend our robo network up here. Oh, it already... No, it doesn't. I thought we had robot... robo ports in here for some reason. Um... What's the furthest this can reach? Right here? Let's just go build that. Speedy spider... Away? Um... as well put this here and we can probably connect these two like so pylon pylon and pylon and now the whole robot network can get to work Okay, uh, probably should wait for that to get done. Let me just double check. Bit of melange, that's whole man. Uh, that's not what we're looking for. Wait, no, it's uh, it's on the wrong recipe, but the target is right. Via Terra gives us Holmanite core fragments. Okay, cool. So... Delivery cannon capsule core fragment fulminate. Green wire. Target green wire. Fulminate. Fantastic. That goes to all the ones on the right side. Fulminate. Red wire. Fulminate. Good. Copy this over here. And then... And then what? Uh, I'll let the bots do some stuff while I configure this stuff. Should add a planet symbol here. Or the... Uh, Terra is this one. So we need one of these, one of these. We're going to need all the same things. Nice and easy. And possibly a comparable amount of explosives, in fact, quite likely. In which case, let me put this over here, and this here. That's just the recipes though, I need to... Oh, this one's correct already. Uh, so we're going to Via Terra, and Copper does indeed go here. Oh, that's right, we set it up so that they all go into the one delivery cannon chest with this. That makes it so much easier, setting this up. Um, so we just have to go via Terra, aim here, via Terra, aim here, I don't have to remember or double check 
which chest it has to go into. Very nice. In fact, wouldn't it be easier to copy paste this one everywhere and then just change the recipes? That might be better. Copper plate, iron plate, whoops. Uh, stone brick and steel. Gotta make this one sulfuric acid. And these two are gonna be explosives. Uranium. Whoops. And we'll probably add some more explosives up here with a copy paste. Explosives. Uh, normally I put two stacks, so since we're aiming it at two machines, let's go for four. And we'll add that one there. Actually, no, we don't have two tiles here, so it's not like we could fit more. Not that we want to. Uh, okay, that's going to go there. This should be explosives greater than zero. Um, uranium-235 greater than zero. U-238 greater than zero. Iron plate. Copper plate. Wait, steel. Steel. Copper plate is here. Uh, stone brick. Iridium ingot. And last but not least is acid barrel. Alright, let's just double check those. I know the explosives are right. Uranium, iron, copper, and ingot. Fantastic. We had our DC chest. Uh, they should be ready to go, except I need to set the requests for... Um... for the requester chests. Iron and steel. Copper plate. Uh, stone brick, was it? And ingot. Two stacks. Sulfuric acid barrel. Do you not use any cargo rockets anymore? No cargo rocket research on so. Uh, there's like two cargo rockets I still use somewhere. Although I'm phasing them out for going to Nalvis orbit. Although I am questioning that decision. It does seem to be more fuel efficient. Uh, even though, what is it, 500 stacks here, and it costs us, uh, most of 200,000 fuel to do 16 stacks, I mean 16 chests, 16 times 48, 768 stacks. Let's say that costs us 90, at uh, 9... Sorry, 180,000 liquid rocket fuel, that's a lot. Or a bit over 1.5 times what, what a cargo rocket does. Uh, this costs us 50,000. It is a lot more fuel efficient, but uh, we don't have to produce um, 
space capsules, we don't have to produce cargo rocket sections, we don't have to deal with crashing ships, uh, which do happen surprisingly frequently, even when they're only going to Nalvis orbit. Um, it's just a lot less hassle. And the premium we pay on that is a bit more liquid rocket fuel. Okay, significantly more liquid rocket fuel, actually. Uh, it's fine. I'm sure we'll be getting antimatter one day. Oh, a space elevator? Question mark? Alright. Uh, so we've actually configured all of our Viaterra cannons already. We just need to power them. Let's get ourselves a pylon substation. And we should start receiving... Uh, immediately, actually. Yep. Here it comes. That is a good chunk of stuff. Okay. I don't want to forget to bring all of the... Uh, delivery cannon capsules that we already have here. How many do we have? 1136 left over. And apparently they're all being delivered at once. Um, we have more log... Oh yeah, of course, because this scales up as much as it needs to with the logistic bots. Yeah, okay. Uh, so... We'll get all of our old delivery cannon capsules onto the belt. And now we just need to move the core liners. And possibly add some more. Uh, and possibly add... How many did we have? I missed it. It was four sets of four, right? Sixteen? Um... Even with the same amount of core miners, we may need more power because of the amount of power. Okay, 786.36, 786 megajoules to fire this cannon. Uh, Pentium requires 946 megajoules. Does distance matter or is it just planet size? 9491. Nine, six, this is bigger. Okay, so distance does matter. This is a little bit cheaper, well, significantly cheaper, actually, um, to fire the cannons to send stuff to Nalvis from Via Terra uh, than from Pentium. I guess if I was going to play uh, Space Exploration again from scratch, I might even consider... Once I've discovered everything in the solar system, picking a different planet as a base of operations. The planet that's most centrally located, the one that has the... Oh, and a small planet. So the spaceships don't have to pay much to take off from it. That would be a good idea. Not so small that we can't build, you know, as big a base as we need to, of course. But significantly smaller than Nalvis. A radical idea? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking this idea. Oh, it makes me want to... It makes me want to do another playthrough. It's going to take years. Oh my god. But imagine if... Like... Okay, 1643 might be a bit too small. We've got Alessandro, for example. 3291. Uh, we've trimmed it. But... It's about as big as what fits on the screen. Like, as a circle. I don't think we're going to run out of space. Um, even probably on Rampart, if I were to build a base there. Especially from scratch. Especially... 
you know, instead of growing from the old base, we're, we're starting with a plan. Um, we could have... I'm almost tempted to pack... I'm almost tempted to start a base on, like, Rampart now. Like, to become the main base. Because the the fuel cost of taking off is going to be minimal. Um, the average cost of delivery cannons is going to drop. A Cifa cap. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Was your stream today? Sifa cap. I'm spelling it wrong. S E I F. There we go. Factorio, fantastic. Uh, Solburn, peasant, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Veldak, of course. Uh, yeah, I would definitely, definitely do it on a future playthrough. Uh, maybe it's a bit... I don't know. Maybe it's a big pain to start building a bunch of new stuff for a new base uh, on a new planet. But on the other hand, we're going to know where everything is and there's not going to be like legacy stuff that we've forgotten about that needs to be cleaned up and stuff like that. Stream went well, thanks. Finally gone nuclear. Nice. Yeah, definitely something to think about. Um, okay. But as for now, let's keep spamming these cannons. Uh, we want some drills. Or mining drills. And we should have plenty of room for them. Actually, why don't I just steal from myself again? And I'll take, as simple as it is, every little bit of reduced work is nice. Uh, I should keep a little bit of a gap just in case. I, yeah, I think we're easily going to fit all of the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, I think we're easily going to fit what we need here. Let's go with... That? Oh. Rude. Let's just landfill that. Uh, spider trons over here, please. And... Rescue some fishies. Landfill... Goes here. Aluminium pa uh, paradise? Is it where we've been spending most our lives? Okay, we are so close to actual aluminium paradise. Been spending most our lives getting to aluminium paradise. Ah, the maze. Okay, we are so close to actual aluminium... Oh, it repeated already? Wait. Oh yeah, it's ten seconds. I thought someone looped it. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's get... A drill here. Why haven't the spiders placed landfill? I thought they had it. Oh, the bots decided to place landfill. And the spiders do indeed have landfill. Okay, cool. Um, so this goes here. This goes here. That's already 16 drills. Um, the plant's pretty big, so we don't need that many drills. At least not yet. Drills are on their way. Uh, I already set these targets. We need a dish. Signal a receiver. And we're going to put that right about here somewhere. Green wire connect. Red wire connect. 
and Via Terra. That's not the signal we need. Uh, Nalvis Holmanite processing. There we go. So these should be not. Oh. Yeah, that shouldn't be Vitamelange. That should be Core Fragment Holmanite. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure the red ones. Yeah, we're just going to copy paste the same settings for them. It's only which wire they're connected to that's different. And maybe it's a little dangerous uh, to have all of these stacking up extra delivery cannon capsules to start with. But I think limiting the flow of let's do it this way this time I think limiting the flow oh, what what no hold on why is that no it's one tile off okay You are in the way, sir. How about this? Why can't I place this? Okay. And then scroll back to this thing. We could stand to have a little power management, though. Let's do that. That's not symmetrical. Okay. Uh, accumulator charge greater than... 80% should be fine. We need some power down here. Whoop. Sneaky autosave. Uh, this goes here. Because if we could end up doubling this and... No, I didn't leave enough space. Oh, no. Well, we can always add more drills wherever. Uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, we're well into diminishing returns here. It's power of two, so one... Uh, one, four, nine, sixteen gives you the equivalent of the first drill times one, two, three, and four. So this is, this is the same as four of the first drill. Uh, also, what happened to our... I could have sworn we had this many drills somewhere. Let's go pick up some more from the outposter. In fact, let's make sure we connect the robo-network or the outposter, and it'll help. You should see a bunch of bots doing something here now. Yep. Drills are on their way. Fantastic. Alright, so... Once this is charged enough... Why do we not have explosives? Don't tell me. We're actually struggling to produce explosives here. On Nalvis. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Especially if we just... Uh, 
moved a bunch of our logistics over from liquid rocket fuel to explosives. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Explosives. We have less than a train load here. 760. 6.1k. 451. 1.7k. So we're basically out of explosives. How fast can we make it here? These are all tier 3s still, so it should be extra fast if anything. Uh, 13.9 per second. Well. Um... At least we've got some. We're taking that to the mall, though. Are we bottlenecking on coal or anything? We seem to have a of coal for now. At least we have plenty of coal. Okay, not here. We have okay coal where we're producing explosives. Boy, it's just one thing and then another. Hmm. That coal is looking tempting. Coal, sulfur, and water makes explosives. So basically just oil, water, and coal. I should check Deadwood. The whole point of this place was coal. Deadwood 1 is in motion, Deadwood 2 is in motion, Deadwood 3, Deadwood 4, Deadwood 5 is loading up. Do we have any issues here? It doesn't look like it. Deadwood 6 is in motion, Deadwood 7 is waiting above Deadwood, it's probably fine. And Deadwood 8 is in motion, okay. And you are... Uh... Closest to Deadwood, right? Destination Deadwood, closest to Calidus Asteroid Belt? Wait, what? Uh-oh, did you get stuck? Deadwood 7. It's all dark. It's not moving. Oh, no. It's run out of nuclear fuel. How did this happen? I think I can guess, actually, considering what happened to that other ship. Um, is this it? No, that one's moving. There it is. It's very close to Calidus. Uh, travel time... 97 hours, 16 minutes at current speed. That is a little bit longer than I can tolerate. I think we should intercept it with our outposter. And give it some fuel. So, uh, after going to the trouble of making... Um, of converting this over to being delivered by cannon, we're now not able to fire the cannons. Because there's not enough explosives. Well, we do have a pretty big supply of delivery cannon capsules, so... That'll that'll at least keep it going for a while. But first we need to charge up the accumulators. Um, power consumption is a bit of a concern. Let's see. 50 megawatt times 16 is 800 megawatt. What's the maximum from this reactor? 
Uh, let's see. 160 megawatt times 4 plus 120 times 4. Uh, we're looking at like 1 gigawatt, basically. Yeah, I think we should build another reactor before we go. Uh, let's figure out where it's going to fit. Probably here. I made a version that doesn't have the requester chests so that we can just um, build it with no worries and then put the requester chests there when it's done. Alright, I think I'll just put this right about here-ish. I want the robo networks to connect at both ends. That should be okay. Especially if we turn that into a supercharger if we have to. It's got more range on the uh, logistic bit. Oh! Oh, even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, bots are going to be able to reach. Oh, let's quickly rescue the fish before they do. If we can. Alright. So here, 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 and here are candidates for where we put our roboports while we're building these things. I want to get this built as quickly as possible so I can go rescue... I may not... Okay, the point was so the robo-networks could connect, but I don't think the spider's going to be able to reach across there. How many tiles is this? Uh, four... 8, 16... Yeah, it's way more than a spider can reach across. I think the maximum is 10 or 11. It's pretty difficult to get them to go to 11. Let's get our construction spiders in on the fun. Oh. Long legs. And away you go. Uh, heavy composite is still not being researched. What happened? Oh, you're kidding. I... I forgot to connect the fluid output. Okay. And I probably have the exact same problem for all... Is it three or four of these builds? Alright then. Uh, but yeah, we've actually got everything we need here. Products finished, six. We did it. Material Science Pack 3. Fantastic. What should our pipe look like? I think... I think there's only one place for it to really squeeze through here. Um, so we're going to start with that. And then one tile short of what I wanted to do there. Uh, we could actually put that there instead. That wouldn't look too bad. And this is slightly in the way. Alright. Don't mind... It just had to be one tile off, didn't it? Okay. Let's go... 5, 6, 7, 8... And... How many tiles is this? 6. Figures. It'll do. 
Are there any texts coming up that would lead to a rework of the base that you could do on a smaller planet? Uh, good question. Let me just get this uh, lined up first. And I'll actually just blueprint this. But I only want the pipe. Okay, and then we should be able to easily patch uh, Oh, that's where that goes. Okay, good. Cool. Yeah, I think I should be able to do this via the map. But... I think we need to have vision here anyway. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So that's energy, bio... I, I nearly said mechanical, but I didn't. Unless you count that time. Material and astro. Let's get our spiders to visit each of those. Do a little dance around there to make sure. And, oh, actually, do not cross the ship docks, please. Let the other spiders catch up. And that should do it. And here it comes. So what's our threshold? I think it's five stacks. So once we get a thousand, that's a lot actually. Uh, we're only looking for 200 material testing pack threes to get this research done. 500 for this one, 500 for this one. Should go pretty quickly now. Wait, I thought the rate for these two was one to one. What's... Why are we so slow? We're still outputting the thermo fluid? Oh, we didn't finish... Oh. Wait, why don't we have a long pipe five? What? Really? You're telling me all of these spiders don't have a single long pipe 5 in their inventory. Wait, no, there's one right here. What are you talking about? What? Spiders? What? Why? Why are you like this? This one has fives. Do they have like a million bots trailing them right now? They do. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think if I do this... Cool. That means I have to babysit the spiders when they fix uh, this next one as well. Mixed fluid? No. It's because a specific bot was reserved to do this, but it's one of the... It's one of the minority of bots that are crawling back to the spiders right now. Yeah. Okay. We don't have the inserters to keep up with the iridium plate. Oh, I forgot I didn't necessarily want to use T6 speed modules for these. That was like planning for the future. The last one. Oh, you're kidding me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna send the spiders back. Um, it's really just material science that we're waiting on at the moment. So, I'll send them back, get their inventory reorganized, and um, then I can trust them to fix all that in one go. T6 
Real test effect. Yeah, it's just the fluid. Okay. Alright, you. Back to the mall with you. And I think I'll just set this right now. Let's get the last one, and then copy-paste to the rest, check that we got it. We got the wrong one. Sneaky. Remove everything trash un unrequested. I think it's this one. Alright, there we go. So, currently we're bottlenecked on inserters. Um, it's mainly the inserters picking up the iridium plate. I guess I could have just added one over here. Production speed is amazing though, given all mats are there, five stacks would be made fast, indeed. Yeah, we've um, accumulated a lot of resources before we get started with the nature of these big trains. Uh, so when, now that we've finally, finally, finally got tier 3 flowing, uh, it won't be long before... Like, I mean, as soon as we get a delivery, we're going to get heavy composite done practically instantaneously. Um, let's put a, a robopot right about... Uh, I think it's here. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, uh, supercharger. Goes here. And I, I'm pretty sure it's heat pipe. Looks like this. Island substation. If we had two more bits of landfill right here, we could have laid that out. Um, oh, I need to personally deliver that. Or... Or not? What are my robots doing? Do I have robots? Oh, there's some other bot delivering this, I think. Yeah, here it comes. And that in turn should provide logistics to these guys. So landfill is on its way. And then we can put a uh, RoboPort here and here. That's going to touch everything. Okay. So how much have we got? Uh, tier 3 is at 222. Fantastic. So we've already got enough to do our first research. We need energy four for this one. Ooh, that's something I'm excited about. And we can do it. Oh, that's really exciting. Yes, 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 yes. Energy beaming. I don't even care what else I'm procrastinating. Spaceship size? Who cares? I'm kidding. But still, energy beaming is really exciting. I'm looking forward to making a solar array in the orbit of the sun. Um, and beaming power everywhere. That 
would probably provide a lot of opportunities to cut down on EPS as well. Although I don't know how much... I, I know nuclear is nowhere near as UPS as expensive as it used to be. And solar is of course not very at all, except you need a ton of it. Got a sun with significant higher solar bonus? Uh, do you mean this, like, surface? Uh, 15... 18%? 15.18 times now this. So our tier 2 solar panel uh, is 15.18 times, right? Uh, 1,200 no, 12,144 kilowatts 1.21 megawatts per Wait, is that... that can't be right. Now this orbit, we get, um, 3.7 megawatts. So that's plus 832.024%. It says out of 7.5 megawatts. What? Hold on. Max output 800 kilowatts. On Nalvis, it is out of 800 kilowatts. So, in orbit, it's like half daylight all the time. Nalvis orbit. Solar, 466%. Um, okay. Plus 832%. So that percentage bonus that we see does, like, take that into account that for some reason the power output shows as, like, 45% or something, because it's kind of dark. 12 megawatt, not 1.2. Yeah, that sounds right. That's decent. It's only three or four, uh, three or four times what we get from Nalvis Orbit. Still, uh, it's pretty cool. And more to the point, the logistics of beaming power. Hmm. Delicious. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? We've, we've still got those two little bits of landfill haven't been filled out. Okay, I might have to take this into my own hands. Um, actually, what am I doing there? Turn this off. Do I have landfill in here somewhere? Probably not yet. But I definitely should. Uh, let's put it next to cliff explosives. That kind of makes sense. Alright, one stack of landfill always, please. And I'll save that player preset. It should be on its way... Oh, that's the spider. A derp. Should be on its way right now. Fantastic. Only personal solar. That's capped at 30 megawatt. Person... Personal solar. Not portable solar. Oh, 30 kilowatt. Right. Yeah, it's weirdly consistent. Alright. Uh, I really want to get this thing built so that I can leave and rescue... Um, rescue that ship. Kilowatt, indeed. Uh, also, Meloxyl, DevDoc. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Almond's Craze, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Still only use the Umbrella Corp ship, or do you put up local umbrellas? Umbrella Corp ship. What? 
I don't understand that bit that I missed earlier. Okay. Ore mining is happening, which means it's getting sent back to Narvis, which means chromium cable everywhere all the time. Not not just yet. We need to fix explosives. Um, if we're going to benefit from switching over to cannons. Explosives are not so great right now. Maybe I should make a dedicated block for explosives. Um, it's literally just... Not that one. It's literally just coal, sulfur, and water. Which is, of course, petroleum. Uh... It's, it's basically petroleum, water, and coal. Plus some cracking. Well, at the... at the... because we do the cracking here, at the block I could just do a petroleum drop-off. And we could make sulfur there... or I could pick up sulfur from here. We've got a ton of sulfur available in the rail network right now. So that would actually make a lot of sense. Maybe I should have done it in the first place. Although, it would have seemed pretty excessive at the time, making a rail block for explosives. Okay, so we should definitely build it at the coast. This one is kind of occupied, but I'm thinking of doing just like a build around one beacon and not using the whole block anyway. And it would make sense to put it close to petroleum. Uh, let's send the construction spiders up this way. We'll have our output... Input. Uh, let's get rid of the old power poles. But not before we replace them. You can make a ship for collecting energy beams with an umbrella as opposed to one on each planet. Oh. Really? Is this something I could have already done? Or... Let's see. Or is this because... Is this something I can do with energy beaming? Energy beam. Umbrella, energy beam, defense. Umbrella can defend both a planet moon. Oh yeah, they changed that. I probably have a redundant umbrella. And its orbit from coronal mass ejections and energy beams. Placing umbrella on either the planet or moon or in orbit will protect both zones. Works by magic. The only requirement to function is energy. One is needed per surface. I don't see anything about using a ship. Uh, is it after energy beam? Energy beam emitter is capable of sending energy to different surfaces. It can do this in two main ways, either as a way to provide power to distant surface, energize, or as a cutting beam weapon. That's hot. Uh, autoglave. That's very, very good. Energy beam emitter has four connection points. I don't see any mention of a ship here, skimming the rest. I'm not there yet, but I thought I saw it in YouTube videos. Definitely an umbrella on a ship. Interesting. Oh, this is way more done all of a sudden. Uh, let's put our roboports here for now. 
And then, are they powered already? Yes, they are. Fantastic. Let's put you over here. It's not an umbrella, it's an energy receiver. Different entity. That would make sense. Ooh. Wait, how far can you beam energy? I thought it would just be within the same solar system. Alright. Oh, I think I have some Logibots. Uh, but it, what I meant really is I can offer more construction bots so this can get done a little bit faster. You can beam as far as you want? No way. That's... No way. That's crazy. Does that mean I should look at different suns? I mean, that would be... It would just be a bit further to travel to. 1505. Calidus is 1518. Uh, 1512. I don't think these are going to be very different. 1525. 1503. 1510. 1507. Okay. I think Calidus has been the highest already so far? 15, 18. But with power if you have, just place umbrella? Or not the umbrella but the other thing, right? Energy receiver? Or well, maybe I misunderstood that statement. What is happening with our science? It's still going, it's just not that fast. What do we have here? 600... Uh, oh, that's right, we need a thousand before the train is going to bother to pick it up unless I change the provide threshold. The thing is, it's, it's five stacks of a specific um, type. So maybe I could set that a bit lower. I could definitely set it lower just once so that we could get some science started. Fantastic. Looking forward to working with you, Material Science Pack 3. That's not what I was looking for. And just to confirm... Oh, wow. Uh, we've got 47k, 47k, 47k. Some of the Tier 2s, we've only got 27k, 17k, 23, 16k... Maybe I could have set these requests a bit lower <laughs> until we're ready to try and go super fast one day. It's probably fine. Probably. Uh, do we have a request? We do not have a request for Material 3. Let's add it before it gets here. Material pack three. Fantastic. And we've got our prod sixes, most important. Or one of the most important to have the prods, that is. Where's our train? It's a coming. Why do we have a long train? Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> I kind of forgot to change the the train size. 
So this is looking a little bit awkward. There we go. Heavy composite is being researched, and it's going to get done all in one go. Uh, I keep looking in the wrong spot for this thing. Okay, so this is... Short trains. And this combinator is going to be the same for each of these. Provider stations are like that. Well, provider stations that are all requesting the same resource as well are like that. And it's time to s time to fix our spiders here. Space constructor Tron. Space constructor Tron. Never gonna get around to having like two different types of spiders so they don't get over full. If by never, I mean probably when I take a couple of days off streaming. Alright, we finally got our landfill. Fantastic. Let's grab our blueprint. And very, very carefully line this up. That is looking good? Question mark? That is looking good. Okay. Well, I guess if I made a mistake with at that step, it would be reversible anyway. Actually, no, because that includes the landfill. That blueprint. Maybe I should make just the landfill and then the blueprint without the landfill. Uh, I could easily make a copy of it that is just the landfill. At the very least. Great copy. Nothing but landfill. And... I can just put that there. And then maybe... This is already a spare, so I'm not too worried about this one. And then maybe just remove... I should probably put RoboPorts, if this is going to be the version that we build, um, like before we're ready to fire it up anyway, I should probably put RoboPorts in as part of, part of this blueprint. Except if I make, uh, if I, if I use um, select new contents now, it's going to be rotated wrong, right? Can I... it's not like I can rotate this first. Yeah, I don't... I don't love it vertical as much, especially considering, you know, common screen ratios. It's fine. Once we get the nuclear reactors in, I'll summon the requester chests so that the fuel gets put in at about the same time. Oh, heavy composite is about to be complete. 98, 99. Fantastic. What does heavy composite go into again? Heavy... Uh, there's only one way to make it, ever, apparently. Energy shield... don't care too much about this, to be honest, although a thousand hit points is amazing. But what's not so amazing is how they drain energy when you move. Uh, I'm probably more excited about a higher tier of adaptive armor, to be honest. High temperature heat exchanger. 
5,000 degrees. 560 megawatt. Wow. A large heat exchanger designed for high temperatures and high capacity. Output 562 per second. Uh, we also need nanomaterial, lattice pressure vessel, and stuff that we've already got. Black deep space underground pipe. We need some more an aquium cube. That's that's a bit far away for now. Heavy assembly, another uh, prerequisite thing. Intermediate product. Material science pack four needs heavy composite. I think making the extended material catalog is going to be a bit more of a challenge than the heavy composite itself. Just a little bit. And we also need it for shield projectors. Okay. So it seems like uh, volume-wise we're not going to have to produce a whole lot of these. Probably just one half block will be more than enough. Oh, this is still building. Okay, let's check on Nalvis. Actually... I should take a quick break. Uh, let's throw on the... Won't you now have problems with the liquid on those stations? Uh, which stations? Big Clown, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, the, uh, yeah, that's actually, I don't know if this is what you meant, but it did remind me. Um, we need to, whoa, 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 turn off, turn off the screensaver first. Okay. Uh, now that we've fixed up our spiders, we need to get them to visit, uh, the other three science blocks. to update those pipes so that the fluid output can happen. I think it was the sciencey ones? Yeah. We've done the blueprint to update with the pipes, but we haven't got the spiders there yet. Alright, so let's do a little LTN screensaver. And I nearly typed raid. That's not what we want to do yet. Uh, I will be back in a few minutes. Take care.
Okay. What do we have here? What? 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 No, wrong button. Okay, there we go. Bonk. Okay, then. Uh, we still don't see Holmium moving when we look here. I'm kind of amazed by that, to be honest. Uh, I hope... Oh, that's right. Actually, why aren't we seeing more Holmium flowing? What? Oh. Wait, what? Why is this one more... way more full than this one? Uh... Okay, these ones are getting ready to fire. Oh, we're bottlenecked on power still? Okay, that makes sense. Although I'm still thoroughly confused as to why we have... Actually, let me have a look now. How we got like five stacks still in this chest when I looked, and then this one was just empty. The Holmium is flowing though. Uh, and we're about to make it flow much more quickly and consistently. We've got our reactors here. Don't tell me... We do have enough steam turbines, right? I'm pretty sure I made sure. What? 480 steam turbines. What? And this thing uses 412? Why is... Why does that look like it? Oh, I accidentally clicked on it. Um, 412 steam turbine. I'm pretty sure this was full of 480. So, how exactly? Uh, there should even have been a few spare here, which we've taken. How exactly did we not finish building this? Whoa. Okay, then. <laughs> All right. Okay. That'll... That, that'll do, cannons. That'll, that'll do. Fantastic. All right. That chest on the receiving end, <laughs> yeah. Um, and we got more research done. Nice. Well, I think we're ready to complete this build. Um, we might have to come back to finish it properly, which is unfortunate, to say the least. Uh, let's be very careful about lining this up. Nothing but blue, please. And uh, is this gonna? Hmm. I don't think we need to connect this up here. The bots will jump between this. Yeah, that'll be fine. How many ghosts do we have here still? We are 17 steam turbines short. I find that very strange. So that would be uh, discounting the ship that came and gave us another 5 or so. Um, that would be like 22 short. Which is pretty oddly specific. We've got automatic loading of these things over here. Currently there's 300 steam turbines waiting to be added. Oh, is this why? Where did I... That's probably why. 
Okay. That should fix it. Make sure we request enough uh, steam turbines in the... Actually, now that I think about it, um, we should probably be reading not from the robot network, but from the storage chests for what we actually have here, which will ignore what happens to be stored in the ships. And that way I could have set this to like five steam turbines and it would eventually fill the ship up. It also means we don't need this bit of, this like extra roboport and circuitry. It's not going to reach, unfortunately, but we can do it that way. Let's, let's not use the combinator, actually. Actually, can I make this look slightly less tacky? Fantastic. Okay. I'm not going to bother editing the values there, that's fine. Right then, we'll have to come back here to finish this properly, which makes me a bit sad. Uh, I can build a single steam turbine before we go. It's basically just copper and iron. Uh, maybe we could auto-craft it. How much? We've got... We've got steel and iron. Do we have copper somewhere? We have 90 copper. I don't think that's going to be enough. We need 30... 30 plus whatever goes into the small electric engines for... Uh, for each steam turbine. How did coal core fragments get here? I might take those home with me. A whole bunch of explosives, too. Oh, a whole bunch of explosives, too. Why don't we bring those up here? Alright. Back to... I can't jump across that. Let's go this way. Back to our ship. And construction spiders can loiter around about here, I think. I hope we don't run out of these. Oh. We already did. Okay. Alright, let's pick... Let's put our giant robot spider in our pocket. Did you just put... That... Is someone going to pick that up? No. Okay. Forget about it. Let's just keep going. Uh, which ship was it that was stuck? Deadwood 7. Fantastic. That was easy to find. Let's just make absolutely sure it is Deadwood 7. There it is. Cool. Uh, Deadwood... Um, 7. Well, let's go. And just so that we don't have to do it later... We're going to set Deadwood 7's target to the outposter. Otherwise, even though it moves at an infinitesimally small speed, um, it will be impossible to board if we don't do this. Alright, what's our ETA? Speed says 0.37, I don't think... there we go. That was the Deadwood, actually. Um, ATA is like six minutes. 
It's not very far at all. Relatively speaking. Are the other ships stuck behind the derelict ship? No room to pass? Or No, uh, they don't really take up space. Um, this one's just just happened to be moving past that point. It's not actually stuck. I don't know how easy it is to see, depending on your settings, but we can see ion engines and lasers are firing if we just click on that, so we know it's working. Material Science Pack 4 is on the way. We need another about 100. 200 more for superconductive cable, and a mere 500. Well, it's 500 of three different types uh, before we get our energy beaming. That's exciting. How much have we got here? Tier 3. I don't see any, actually. It's all in the requester chest, so it doesn't count it. I could turn these into buffer chests, just so it's easy, easy to see how much we've actually got. That might be a good idea, actually. I think we'll do that. Um, buffer, 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 buffer. The space science labs are actually really kind of pretty when you look at them. Giant disco balls. Okay, uh, what else are we doing? Oh, that's right, I wanted to check on this. We're picking up more Material Science Pack 5 as we speak, which means we have a thousand to pick up. Very, very nice. That means everything we've queued up is probably going to get done already. Uh, we've got 8.9k energy 3, really. Wow. That's pretty good. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, I thought I was reading the wrong one for a second there. Yeah, we're not having much trouble with that. Um... What's next? What should we research after that? I'm actually... Oh, I totally forgot this. Um, at some point I got construction pylons and I kind of didn't notice. Although I haven't tried them yet, but reading the description, they might not actually be as exciting as I thought. Uh, but I think we can try them out before I even get back, so... Let's add construction pylon. Uh, construction pylon. And we're going to look for a hundred of those. And we'll see if we've got everything we need to craft that. Let's reset the timer. It's just girders and solenoids and stuff we've all got. Fantastic. That's our first construction pylon. Uh, let's see how it looks in practice. So it looks like... What's the stats on this? Supply area 0x0. Zero zero. There's no logistic connection with this. Construction area 64 by 64, logistic connection distance 32. Okay, so the logistic connections are 32 by 32. So it it's not like we could just have one of these for every pylon substation in a repeating solar pattern, for example. We are going to have a few more than I would like to need. But on the other hand, 
uh, it is still a minimal amount of space. Not to mention power consumption. Uh, Roboport is 50. Double that for Supercharger, which has less build reach and more supply area. Um, but so for this you get construction area 110 by 110, it's 4 by 4, 50 kilowatts. This is only 10 kilowatts, only 64 by 64 supply area, but it's only 2 by 2. Um, and it connects power poles. Uh, and it supplies electricity just a little bit. I could see myself maybe using that. Name in base, okie dokie. Uh, help Tios. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, should we go here? This is actually a perfect time to give these a go. Let's have Robo Network. And I can't really see how far out I'm going to have to put this. Logistic connection distance 32. So is it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, out, the construction areas have to touch. Okay. So if this goes here, this has to go somewhere like here. Which means we'll need another one. And then... H... E... L... T... L-T? Should that be closer to the L? It feels like it should be, like, one tile closer. At least. Helped loss. That is an L, right? Double S. Maybe not this S. Fantastic. Did we not get another construction pylon yet? Really? Did we build just one? I find that hard to believe. Construct. Action pylon. All time. Pylon. Construction pylon. We built 506. What? Really? Two in the last ten minutes. Oh, I did build a bunch of them somewhere, somewhere. Enders, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do we have them here, or did I build them somewhere else? Pylon. We have one construction pylon. Okay, I bet I built them in the mall and forgot about them. Uh, L. Pylon. Yeah, we've got 504 construction pylons here I totally forgot about and never tried out. <laughs> Whoops. But, oh, this one's just barely out of reach. There's your problem. Okay, let's let's move this one. Uh, let's... Let's be pika-shocked that we have no blue circuits. Uh, and let's cry ourselves to sleep. Storage is looking a little bit full right now. Um, that's a lot of red wire that we've accidentally spawned. Too bad search can't be filtered by planet slash orbit. Well, I can search the logistic network, but yeah, with the product, with the production, absolutely. Um, okay. Okay. 
unless I can conjure some blue circuits at will. Um, we're not getting those built. Let's get our spiders over here. Since we can't seem to reach. I can't believe we had enough for two. It's probably uh, the blue circuits that we've got. Yeah, whatever blue circuits we had left over in these chests, that's what we used. Okay. Did we fix all of our... Ooh, energy beaming is half done. Much excitement. Uh, did we fix all of these? Yes. And... Yes. And... Yes. Fantastic. Okay. I should probably knock down the requests at the labs for some of these things. Probably. Let's go with, like... Is 48k what fits in a train or something? No, it's 32k. It makes sense for... I won't even bother changing the lower sciences. Uh, rocket science pack... It's already saturated anyway. Uh, but for all of these... Hmm. If I had something handy, I would use a arithmetic combinator for this, but let's just go with like 2,000 for everything until we're ready to go hen with infinite research. Actually, 2,000 is probably a bit low. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. This way it won't take as long for things to get backed up if we can't keep up with everything all at once. Energy beaming is at 92%. I can't believe... We're going to be, as soon as I can get back there, we're going to be able to do this. Unless we need some blue circuits. Uh, what do we need? Blue circuits, of course. Superconductive cable, we don't have that yet. Um, blue circuits, blue circuits. Rip. Okay, uh, how do we make superconductive cable? Holmium cable, cryonite, and supercooled. We can't throw that together in the mall. Um, are we going to need to make a rail block for this? Superconductive. There's two ways to make it. Oh. Oh. This isn't really a way to make it, we just sometimes get... What even is this? Nano-engineering data. Nanomaterial, blank data card, and particle stream. Sometimes spits out... All of this stuff? That's kind of weird. Okay. So it's just the one recipe. Gonna swap blues advanced circuits back to the alt recipe. I might just do that. Um, oh, we are devouring the green circuits. Um, yeah, let, let's, let's do that. Uh, 
blue circuit with Holmanite cable. I want to get rid of these old builds as well, and I want to prod six older things forever, but it's expensive. Looks like you're low on power. Mm, no, I don't think so. What made you say that? Was it on Nalvis or somewhere else? I don't think it was Orbit. That, that seems unlikely. Uh, Night Dancer? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The inserters are slow on the planet. Uh, whereabouts? Oh, was it the long arm inserters, though? Or was it... Do these ones have some yellows, perhaps? Yeah, I think it's just long arm inserters. Okay. Uh, I can't believe... Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Is there like a higher priority on Holmium ingots up here or something? At the old build? Is that what this is? No, we don't even drop off ingots here. Huh. Okay, then. Hang on. Tier 3 modules. Tier 3 modules. Okay, it doesn't matter yet. Maybe it's your client? Uh, yeah, the whole game is running a bit slower because we've got a lot of stuff happening. It's UPS. It's slowing everything down. Indeed. Uh, Freka, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's this ship's deal? It's full of fuel, it's completely empty, and it's not taking off. Why? Uh, okay. Let me just firstly make sure there's room for these to work. But, yeah, why isn't this taking off? If core fragment hormonite equals 48k, if core fragment hormonite equals zero, output planet 325, which is via Terra. Planet 325. I shouldn't even worry about this. We're... We're... We're going to get rid of this. We're not going to be using sh spaceships for this anymore. But on the other hand, why on earth did it not take off? Oh, is it receiving the don't take off signal from one of the... It... Is? If I on stream less than 99k output... Input count... Negative a million spaceship launch. Okay. And you are... Oh, I see what happened here. Looked like this is receiving that signal, but it's not. And now we can pick up some more Holmanite. Which means we've probably got the same issue. This one's fine, actually. Over here, perhaps? No, nope, this one's good. This one's fine. Okay. All over 15 is playable, under that it gets iffy. Yeah, 15 would be pretty harsh. Uh, hopefully we won't get there. There are optimizations I can do, like... 
Uh, we've got a lot of builds that use a lot of machines with old beacons. We can greatly reduce the uh, the count on machines for these. Kind of wish I hadn't bothered to scale very much until I got like tier 2 beacons, but there's only so much you can do that as well. Um, okay, are we at our destination? We are. Let's take a bunch of... That's maybe more nuclear power than I meant to pick up. Uh, but also, I put it all here, please. Uh, let's board Deadwood 7. And drop off some nuclear fuel. Oh, right, I need to actually put this in here, because the inserters don't have any power. Because we get 1% solar once we leave a solar system. Which isn't enough to do anything, because the lasers alone draw so much power and have such a high priority that the inserters just can't do anything. Uh, so that's going to warm up. Wait, what? Okay, something's... Something's very wrong here. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's impossible to get below 500 degrees on a reactor once it's warmed up even once. And yet here we are. Wow, you did that with no airlock? It's fine, I've got, uh, life support. I could do it without the life support, though. Uh, let's board the outposter. See, we're just sucking in a little bit of, uh... We're just sucking in a little bit of void, it's fine. It, it, it's, it's just a flesh wound. It's okay. You can get less than 500 when you have no fuel to keep it hot. Um, I'm not sure about that, because we've run experiments before. Heat pipe in particular. If I build a little bit of heat pipe out here... Actually, we might be able to do this remotely right now. We should have construction bots here and some heat pipe. Yeah, I think, I think we can do this right now. So, if I build this heat pipe out here... ...and let some amount of heat transfer to that... ...I'm gonna get rid of this one. Now, if we check on this heat pipe right here... ...which we have done before... ...check on it in 100 hours, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be 853.78 degrees. Um, and the heat will flow away from the nuclear reactors, but I've never seen it settle down to less than 501 degrees once it's been above that temperature. So I'm very confused as to how Deadwood 7 uh, had that happen. There we go. May maybe no there's no way I was gonna say something like maybe the nuclear reactor never got started but how would it have gotten here uh, all right I'm gonna switch these on and it might give us an automatic destination already what do we have zero of everything so we should be heading out to Deadwood. I don't think it's gonna... Oh, we have to... I think if I just set any destination, and then it's gonna change to Deadwood immediately. There we go. Because I had manually stopped it. Okay. 
Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We found this just outside of Nalvis, right? So... So it probably was headed for Deadwood. I think, I think this thing somehow took off with no fuel in the first place. No lights on the bridge? Yeah, it's fine. We get some light from the, uh... We get some light from somewhere, sometimes. Uh... I mean, if our character is here, it's lit up, but... Wasn't there some other way that we see some light in some of these, if they're in motion? Okay, all of our Morpheus ships seem to have stopped. That's a bit concerning. This is Nalvis. That one's in motion, actually. Nalvis. It's on its way to Nalvis. Okay. I thought I remembered there being some kind of light source when these were working, but maybe I was wrong. So the heat in the system functions as a battery. Yeah, um, you can store heat indefinitely in this game. Alright, let's go back to Nalvis Orbit, I think. Regardless of what we want to do, we want to go there first. Um, I will switch this on, so we'll automatically clamp to it. Actually, I think I want to change this. Uh, I'll just leave that on all the time, and we'll just manually set the destination on this thing. Uh, so... We can automate... What was it we unlocked? We've got Heavy Girdo and Aeroframe Bulkhead. It's just super conductive that we need to add to the mix. I could add another little drop-off here for... Um, cold Thermofluid. Oh, wait, it's negative 273. We need to loop it. Okay. We need to make a block for this. Although, maybe a small block this time. I don't know... Perusing the things that consume Holmium Cable... I don't think we're going to need massive throughput of it, are we? Modules, you say. It's only really high-tier modules with low cost. Energy shield... Ooh, portable fusion reactor, finally. The thing that we sort of take for granted thousands of hours ago if this was vanilla. Negative 10 out, yeah. Uh... Antimatter reactor requires 500. Okay. We're, if not, if, if only for quality of life, um, we're going to want to build this at a somewhat decent pace. I kind of forgot that I finished building the Heltos name. Um, let's let's put it here though. And rip construction pylons. Whoops, wrong remote. Uh, I'll probably just build it over here. I imagine the throughput that we're going to need for this overall is going to be quite small compared to other things. Super conductive. Holmium cable cryonite takes 30 seconds, so the belts are going to be very slow. Holmium cable cryonite and thermofluid. Let's change those signals. And we need some electromag facilities. What's this? Oh, what have we unlocked? 
the next science. Very, very, very slow. Alright. Well, we may even build some beacons. I'll definitely build it with beacons, if only to leave room for them. Uh, super conductive electromagnetic facility. I almost did a straight line there. Actually, we're going to need the alternating pattern for the outputs. Just to keep it from complaining. One, two, three, four. Wide area beacon. Can go here. Uh, so we could actually fit... This many? If necessary? Quite easily. But definitely no more. So that is 24 machines under one beacon. We don't have room to double it. I'm thinking we just do that once, probably, and leave room to do it twice. And the inputs and outputs are going to be pretty simple. Let's go standard pickup station, standard drop-off station. I think I'll rename this, because uh, I'm always thinking requester. Is it ER or OR? ER. Request or sounds kind of pompous, I guess. Uh, Alright, so clearly we're going to need our 180 per second. No, we're not. Probably going to need the minimal of, minimum of belts here. Uh, but I'll start with this just as a template. Where are our spiders? Oh, they got stuck! Okay, my bad. You just barely got stuck as well. Looks like it's saying hi. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have some... belts like this. I mean, pipes, rather. And input pipes won't be any different. Maybe I should make... I'm surprised I never ended up using these. Or maybe for a little while I did. I'm just going to get rid of these. Oh, those are the old blueprints as well. Those are, those. are This was like Tyrannosaurus Hax's first attempt at LTN, where I thought I would have to, or should, give it different priority levels based on how full this was. Yeah, no need for that. We've moved beyond these. Let's make some room. Not that there's limited room, but it's easier this way. Um, I was thinking of adding a couple of extended versions of this where it has the chests lined up for us. Uh, let's go with this one for starters. We need all that. Fluid. Not like that. Pump goes this way. And pipe. 
That doesn't line up, does it? It does. So this one almost has to be input. In that case, uh, spin those around. Maybe right round. Okay. We're gonna have some kind of pipe right about here. It doesn't matter if we don't merge and split these ones, as long as we merge and split the output. Okay. Can I, if I put that there, is that going to reach? Yeah, that's good. Fantastic. Uh, let's put a split uh, right about here. Uh, and that's unfortunate. I have room to move this over. Maybe not three tiles. One, two, three. Could do an underground. It's fine. So then that one... Let me just have a different version of the same problem. Okay, it's just going to have to look a little bit untidy with that splitter. And a little, little asymmetry. I know. Believe me, I know. Oops. Wasn't supposed to be a regular belt. Uh, so then this goes here, will do, I guess. Insert a gober. So here we're going to have, was it cryonite and holmium cable? I think it was. Holmium cable. Cryonite rod. Controlled output needs to look for those specific items. Fantastic. And let's not forget to connect this stuff this time. So we're looking for negative 273 degree thermofluid, holmium cable, and cryonite. Uh, actually, we're going to be consuming this super slow, right? Let's find out just how slow. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to... okay. Let's go with... Electromagnetics facility, tier 6 speed module... Go. Wait, wait, what? Did I not... Go. 
I said go. Power consumption might be a bit excessive. Let's have a look. 120 megawatts, you say? Times 24, you say? Uh, 3 gigawatts, you say? I think we'll be fine. That's actually, like, nothing. <laughs> Alright, uh, we need to get, uh, we actually need the input on the outsides as well. 15, 1, 2, what's the best way to do this? Couple of 9s, not quite. Couple of 7s, I think I like this a bit better. That looks kind of weird, actually. Whatever. That can be a 3B. It's relatively neat. 75 gigawatt? Yeah, I just, uh... Especially before we were using efficiency modules and the big beacons. Uh, I may have got a little bit carried away once we set up a automatic thing that builds itself further and further out with the solar power. Um... It, it was maybe a little too easy to keep building it. I can't believe this is still... Wait, why are you going up there with that? What? I... 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 Okay. Alright. Okay. Um, I was gonna say I can't believe we're still emptying this thing, but maybe we have actually finished. Yeah. No. No, we're still emptying it. Somehow we've got zero logistic bots here, though. Oh, we've got 50. It's zero available. Yeah, that makes sense. 1.21 gigawatts? Indeed. Okay, okay, let's... Let's not with the copyright, just in case. Uh... One would imagine they wouldn't be that severe in a world that made sense. Uh, how fast are each of these machines? Only 0.3. That is so slow. 0.3 superconductive cable per second. We're looking at 7.2 per second for this whole thing. Uh, maybe I will double it. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. It, it really isn't very expensive, either. Okay, I can't flip it around. Um, let's build this half first. We need our fluid output. Pumps go this way. I have been known to get that wrong. And obviously the slowest possible loader. Actually, this thing is going to be so slow. Uh, it feels like a waste using more than four chests. In fact, it feels like a waste using more than one, uh, more than a short train, to be honest. Um, Superconductive. Let's just review what this goes into. Uh, eight. Vanaquium accumulator. 
20 for Nexus? Can gain data from interstellar movement data generation is based on ship kinetic energy. Designed to act as a distortion drive. And with the right technology can enable escape from the local st Oh, this is the end game. That's cool. Okay, so even that is like 20. Alright. Uh, Naquium heat pipe adds up, I guess, a little bit. Dimension anchor. Use the star's gravity well as a stabilizing point for spatial anomaly. Uh, cool. 500. Still not really that much. Yeah, I, th I think we're just going to go for short trains for... I might regret it at some point. Um... Mm. Maybe this is the use case to, like, have a storage and then when the train arrives, split. Um, split it from the storage. Like, literally just have belts going to the trains. And put a splitter here. It's going to take a while to load it, but um, but I think we're going to be summoning a train load uh, for super superconductive cable. Stacks to fifty, and it's incredibly slow to build, and the volume that we use it is very low. So, I think we're going to be summoning trains to bring this, like, not very often. I will regret nothing. I'm ready to watch t Hex playing SE until autumn, at least. Oh, no. Um... Uh... We could at least have, like, a few stacks in each of the chests, I think. Let's put this one here. Stack insert. Okay. We're just going to have, like, up to one train load available. I don't know. I think we're probably just... We, we may end up just using short trains for this. It depends on where we have to send it to. So in that case, I'm just going to do this for now. And we're going to say short trains only. Uh, provide stack threshold, it's going to be like 1. Oh, provide threshold for fluid, 100k of course. Um, super, cable. Oh, I've gone a bit over time today. What temperature do we output? Negative 10. I'm definitely glad I finally bit the bullet and redesigned the fluid so that we can drop off negative 10 and negative 100 back into the system here. Uh, negative 10. Fantastic. I don't think we're ever going to need two belts to come down to here with this build. In fact, the whole thing is so slow, it'd be a good candidate for just having 50 Logi bots. Um, but we've already built this anyway. Chromium cable... Oh, that's right. How slow is this going to be, actually? A whopping 14.8 Holmium cable per second. 
So I'm going to set this to like 10k. It'll drop to 2,000 before we not summon another train of 10,000, of 8,000 rather. And uh, 18k for Cry Night Rod. And then Lured is negative 273. We're going to request the usual. Uh, I'm sure we're going to consume that really slowly as well. Probably. 72.4 per second, that's like nothing. Let's update the station name. Chromium, Crinite, and negative 273. Presta, we can switch that on now. And I think we did it. We just need to do the make sure these are all connected, the output fluids in particular. Oh, output fluid is only going to be 72 per second as well, right? Yep. Okay. So wherever this fits best, that's going to line up well. Let's do some undergrounds here. That works. Don't need this one. And how many tiles is this? Ten figures. Uh, five, six, seven. Sure. And is this 7 or 9? That'll do. 1, 2, 3. I think that's actually the build done. Let's make sure we label it on the map. Super conductive cable. Oh, and we probably hopefully maybe have some science ready to go. Uh, let's, let's check before we finish today. We have, and we can now see what's in the green chests when we look at this. Tier 3, I think it's 5.2k? Yeah, 5.2k of the tier 3 material science. Uh, that's a lot, actually. What else should we research? Uh, material science 3. Radar construction pylon? This is the final pylon, isn't it? 300. Well, why not? And... Artillery shell range is not trivial. It's 12,000. Okay, that's the one thing we're not doing yet. Uh, energy shield mark 3 is 2k. We might do that. I'm not terribly excited about it, to be honest. Uh, Naquium processing. We actually need tier 4. We need two tier 4s to do Naquium processing. Ouch. Uh, computer? We can do the next tier of computer already. That's fantastic. We can get this thing up to 90%. Probably, hopefully, maybe, indeed. Given it's so slow, EN so slow, why not double production? I'm going to, yeah. But I think I'll do that uh, off stream. Literally just a copy-paste job. We need to finish up today. Uh, thruster suit 3. Do we get more thrust out of it? I think we probably do. Mag boots? Don't go into space without it. We need a little bit of each... Oh, we need a tier 1, a tier 1, a tier 3, and a tier 3 catalogue. That's kind of weird. 
Um, we're definitely doing this. And then we can't do that. Okay, then. Uh, oh, spaceship. How could I forget? 400. Uh, do we want to do this first? I mean, we know what we're getting with spaceship. Let's unlock this. Um, I think we can afford all of them, though. We already got that one. This requires energy for. All right, spaceship, spaceship, and spaceship. And this one is going to require a tier four, right? No, it's not. Spaceship. It, it's 3,200, though. Wow. Okay, so we're looking at 300, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 6400. And we have 5.2k. That's actually not bad. It, we might even get it by the time we could research all that. Fantastic. So what does a radar construction pylon require? Stuff that we've already got. Nice. Supply area 4x4, four four, construction area 256x256. Two fifty six Logistic connect connection distance, I think, is the same as the construction pylon. A hundred kilowatts. Okay. So is it just a much, much better version of the construction pylon? If you discount the, the cost and power? Construction area 64 by 64, logistic connection distance 32 by 32. Logistic connection distance, yeah, 32 is what I meant to say. So it's the same logistic connection distance, way bigger construction area. And supply area is 4 by 4 as well. And it provides vision, if I recall. That's actually... I don't suppose it also provides power, does it? We've got one up here from the start of the game. That's a freebie. Oh. Supply area, 64 by 64. That's what it means by... Yeah, I was thinking of logistics for some reason. Pylon substation... Uh, so this thing does it all. Literally the only downside is it costs 100 kilowatts. And the upfront cost, of course. But I could include one of these uh, in... It would probably be overkill. Um, I mean, look at this vision. But if I didn't want to think about it, I could include one of these in each uh, rail block as standard, and we would have full vision everywhere all of the time. Or I could just go around replacing the occasional substation pylon with one of these. Uh, it doesn't actually do any robo stuff. Is that right? 4x4 four four logistic area. No, it does. But as long as I can keep it separate, uh, with the separate robo networks, um, so that we can still have short range bots um, like this. Well, I actually haven't haven't placed these very well for that, but I could replace. I could do it in the one. I could replace the one in the middle to make that happen. How far is antimatter in tech tree? Uh, antimatter production. We need four, four, and four, and deep space science one. Uh, okay. That's a bit rough. I mean, the time it takes to actually produce this is like nothing compared to getting it all together, usually. Far away, yeah. But we did get uh, heat. Uh, what is it called? Energy beaming. Oh, wow. 
Why did this have to happen on the last Factorio day for the week? Maybe I'll do bonus streams to this week. I, I I have to I have to hold back from playing on my own time and just and checking out the new stuff, or at least if I do play on my own time, I have to not do anything new. Like uh, one could argue that making this outpost on Deadwood after everything we've done before that is not the most interesting thing. It's literally just copy paste stuff. So I did that off stream. Um, but, like, exploring energy beaming, I'm not going to do something like that off-stream, obviously. But I'm, I really want to get my hands on it. Well, it's going to happen the next Factorio stream, whenever that is. Uh, wait, what is this? LTN left with leftover cargo. Wait, when did... how? No, no, you... Don't stop telling me that, I need to know. That shouldn't be possible. What? Oh no. I don't know where that is. Okay. Well, let's give it a save. And it's about time we find a stream to rate. It's actually way past time we did that. Playing without sharing is deadly sin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we've got... I traded Tumbling Satellite yesterday. Uh, otherwise, I would definitely do that. Uh, Intertooth, perhaps? Psychomatic is doing 5k SPM UPS optimizations for anyone interested in that. We've also got... There's actually a lot of people... A streaming Factorio for the moment. Bye, T Hex. Take care, Veldak. Thanks for hanging out. Batboy. Appreciate you as well. Um, who should we raid today? Uh... I think we. I think it's been a minute since we raided Cyclo, right? Inter. Okay. Let's drop in on Inter, why not? Get Booper extra. No, no ads. How dare you. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be continuing with some more Terraria. Cyclo will stream long after Inter. Uh, fair enough. Alright, let's drop in on Inter. See how his pipe, uh, pipeless, insofar as that's possible, base is going. Take care, guys. That means that that are out of limits. The Sonus Hex!